<laughs> no, ladies, I tell you, his shirt really looks nice. I feel like I could just take the shirt off of him and just lick it. You don't have to take it Oh, care. Jesus. Cassidy, why are you laughing? <laughs> why are you laughing, Cassidy? It looks like my favorite ice cream. That's all I'm saying. I see it and my mouth starts to salivate. Not for you, but for the ice cream over Devon House. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> see, I told you. Seriously. So, good to have you, Daddy Rude, with a very shine egg top and a cool face. I don't know how he does that, but we'll figure that out as we go throughout the show. <laughs> good to have you on board. Him look kind of rested. Him look kind of younger. I don't know what he did in the absence or what he has been doing. I don't know what he, what he has been eating or not eating or salivating over or what but you look almost nice it's it's because of a lack of vitamin s <laughs> a lack of vitamin s s oh that one hmm okay <laughs> And for everybody, that is a different vitamin for everybody. You know that, right? It doesn't necessarily mean that S. It could be any S. Short. Vitamin is shortage. <laughs> <laughs> any other S comes to mind? <sighs> I'll just work with what vitamin S means. Okay, in, all right. In, in, in baby sham song. Baby sham. Okay, all right, yes. sir. Okay. So, I'm not looking in the direction right now because I'm lying itself. <laughs> 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 Good to have you, nevertheless. Um, shout outs to the JTA Massive from Portland. We had our AGM today at Open Bible Church, and big ups to all the good up, good up teachers who showed up, all the exec members who were elected and re-elected, and all those who served in the past, yes, big ups to you all, um, we're going to have a wonderful conference here come, when, well, September? So, you guys had an election in a church? Oh, yes, we had an election in a church, praise Jesus. <laughs> and it was my pleasure serving as PR. And it was? Yes, and I have been re-elected as PR for the parish. Okay. okay. So it will be my pleasure to serve the teachers of Portland again. Right. Sounds, mm -hmm. good, sounds good. And to the sports team, Mr. Reed and the whole entourage of coaches, Miss Roper, Celia Roper, and Miss Swearing, and Miss Salmon, and Najeda's mother, I can't remember all of the names them. Yes, uh, Mrs. Williams. I, I must say kudos to the Portland team. Parents out there who you did not want to send your child to the sports, I'm going to urge our parents across Jamaica to consider that sports is another avenue for success for your children. Not everybody can manage the maths and the science and the social studies, but if the picnic can run, make the picnic them go longer run. Yes, just feed them properly, monitor them, the training and so on, and monitor, you know, activities that they get into otherwise so as not to get any injuries, but make the picnic them run. All right, Jamaica? Yeah, because well. that's where it all begins. That's where it all starts, right at the primary level. And they move up to the, becoming the Usain Bolts and the Shelly and Fraser Price and no, um, no. Veronica Campbell, etc. Yes? So don't hold them back, guys. So big ups to the sports team. Look Mr. Here. Reed, we came third again this year and we had seven. No, point of information not taken. <laughs> we, we had several <laughs> injuries, can I tell you? And... We withstood the pressure, nevertheless, Mr. Reed and his team, they strategically selected and entered the kids at the National Stadium on Saturday. I had the privilege of being there, and I was so proud to see Portland still holding on for their life to the third spot. And congrats to the children as well who worked hard with the jingle. We came second. And, you know, I tried to help out with that. And we came third in the poster competition. So, big ups to my parish, Portland. And we're going back for it next year, all being well. And we want to see the Portland people, them come out at the National Stadium. Especially on day two. You come watch the release, man, and watch the people, them run up and down and cheer for your parish. Alrighty? So, again, big ups to Mr. Reed for a job and his, and his team for a job well done. Mm -hmm. So, Rude. Yes. 
what a go on. I haven't seen you. I haven't heard much from you. But what a go on. Well, as, as you've mentioned, I feel rested. Oh, nice. Right, um, Can you come in here every partner every week? Yes. Hey, <laughs> the last time people me drop asleep Uh-oh. in a Sandra office Uh-oh. and I just done, done and clear done the show. Give thanks, done, done for me. <laughs> Co co host, <laughs> right? For, 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 for some reason, Cassie, I just couldn't make it back in the office, in, <laughs> yeah. the, in the studio. <laughs> and I pass, I'm say, but hold on, in there so dark and look like one room, you know. For some reason, in there, they just feel like a room, and <laughs> me just sleep. Me never business. If you don't call me, me never intend for answer. <laughs> the only thing that wake me up, Cass, uh, was the national anthem. I'm like, oh hold on. Oh my goodness there. gracious. Well, at least the national anthem hit you. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, you know, I, I feel rested. I had a number of things doing um, in the month of May, you know, especially on weekends. As even, even last week, mm-hmm. um, Prestige, it was 8.30. I called Prestige last week. Oh. I said, Prestige, remember, I said, yeah, I work um, tonight, right? And he said, again, three weeks in a row. I said, yeah, man, remember, I said, last week you actually did my shift. So this week is really your shift. Uh-huh. So, you know, yeah. and I was very busy again last week. Well, I traveled last week. I tell told me tired last week. Last week, Friday, I could go on gas station and sleep. Oh, my goodness. You know, mash up, mash up, mash, mash up. up. Pop but down. May I tell you, boy. Well, you revived tonight. I feel that way. Well, we'll hear more from this man who, when he starts a show, acts really nice and decent. Lisa, you know, right? When we come back, we hear more. We'll pick up some <laughs> peeps who are on the WhatsApp line already. It's now 9.30 and the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. We soon come. Stick you know, and stay. You know, Lisa is lying, right? <laughs> <laughs> Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text and now WhatsApp 518-2399 To advertise your business and events call, text or WhatsApp us on 518-2399 518-2399 Don't forget, 518-2399. The JCDC presents Miss Portland Festival Queen Coronation on Saturday, June 8, 2019 at the Port Antonio High School beginning at 8 p.m. Admission $800 pre-sold, $1,000 at the gate. Children under 12, $300. That's the Miss Portland Festival Queen Coronation, Saturday, June 8, at the Port Antonio High School, beginning at 8 p.m. Thanks to our sponsors, Hotel Team Bamboo, Styles FM, Councillor Wayne McKenzie, Bayview Eco Resort and Spa, Davina Graham, Great Huts Resort, Council Dexter Rowland, M Guys Production, Rap Auto Supplies, and Portland Cooperative Credit Union. And she's right. The most anticipated party of the summer is back. Styles FM Fan Fusion Party Episode 6 Drunken Masquerade Saturday, July 13, 2019 at the Bayview Waterfront Property Oysters Bay, Port Antonio, Jamaica Come here, Styles FM's finest DJs juggling retro hits from the 70s, 80s, 90s and early 2000s Admission 700 pre-sold 1000 at the gate, VIP 3500, Styles Ebo 6000, party starts at 7pm sharp Listen to Styles FM for ticket outlets or call 876 876- 518-2399 Fan Fusion Party Drunken Masquerade Dress tropically elegant Fan Fusion is not just a party It's an experience Must be 18 years and older to enter ID required Drink responsibly Fan Fusion Do you have or 
Are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Style. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Uh, welcome back to Real Talk. And how dare me leave out Risa? Yes, Miss Minot, uh, one of the coaches on the team of the Portland um, athlete, for the Portland athlete, Portland athletes. All right, Risa, big up yourself every time. All right, so shout outs to Lisa. We see you, Lisa. <laughs> You're taking on route early. Princess in Stanton, we see you too. Kemoy, Nova in Illinois. Kevoy Chambers in St. Thomas. And of course, Miss Sadie and everybody else. Oh, shout outs to all our friends in St. Thomas. Big up St. Thomas people, Gary and the massive and crew up there in Whitehall and all other walks of that parish. Big ups to you. Big ups to our St. Mary people as well. Big ups to our Portland peeps and those in St. Anne and wherever else you are across Jamaica, all the other parishes. Big ups to you tonight. All right? So, so Rude, we, boy, hold some on, issues are on, plaguing hold us. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, that is true, but I have to, I have to address a, a particular issue. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're younger, I have a crush on somebody. You just mm -hmm. beat, beat, beat up on them. Oh. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. I feel that right now. We not call nobody name. Me not call no name. <laughs> <laughs> me not call no name. A lady. Miss, no, no, I, 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 I wasn't finished, sir. I wasn't finished. A lady. Can I, can I say where she is living? No. Oh. They had pen us a ball out, so they just a squeal, so I throw my stone and fall them and get up and I run. <laughs> Me not call uh, no call name. Name. Right. Miss Brown, good night to you too as well. Hello, Miss Brown. How are you doing, love? How are you doing? How are you? Juanita in Cali. That looks like looks like California. Juanita. Yes. Um Juanita. Sensei. Oh, we are say. Sensei? I mean like is it sen is it sensei or who sensei? Like Sensei Mania. Sensei Mania no herb, no no weed. Yeah. Good sensei mania. Yeah. And Oh, could it be who sends it? The no, not, no, not no that's not Jamaican. That's not Jamaican. No. Oh. Princess, who not nice? Me or Daddy Road? I must use your talk. <laughs> <Me tell laughs> <and it>. <laughs> <laughs> she is giving it to you tonight. Oh boy. Uh, thank God it's Friday night. Yes, Juanita. Thank God it's Friday indeed. Sensei, 100%. You're right. Johnstone. Where's Johnstone? As in Johnstown Road? As in Porty? No, uh, well, it could yeah, be. That's John well. Yeah, that's Johnstown. Yeah, you have Johnstown in a Porty, you have Johnstown Road in, oh. a, in, in a St. Thomas. But they said Johnstown, you know, you know, the John span it in a yes. Jamaica, in a Porty. Johnstown. Oh. In a Porty, we said Johnstown. So, yeah. uh, she, she, she's, he or she's telling us where. Um, where it is. All right. Lisa, pick up yourself. Lisa. Let's, let's, nice to be back with you, my darling. Good to have you back as well. I don't know where you've been, girl. Were you gone because some people weren't here? I, I don't know. More than likely. <laughs> princess, good to have you. Tell me more. I don't what know what's happening then? with Princess. Your tongue pierced? No. Oh, oh, are the sweetie. My tongue who? Pierce. My tongue what? My tongue weird. Yes, look you must be crazy. <laughs> yes, it's true. At the sweet when she have that, me I say, hold on there. You think People, up. let me clarify. My girl, you think My up. thing always up without piercing my youth. Don't do it. You can imagine if you <laughs> pierce No, it. I don't want to imagine. <laughs> I can't pierce my ears. I can pierce my tongue. You must yeah. be crazy. Um, not feeling very well, so my co-host gave me something to suck on. Um, what's, what's the name of it? Let Re me tell the people what it is. Ricola. Ricola. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> 
So I'm trying to, get, you know, suck on this so I can feel a little, little bit better. Cassidy, don't look at me like that. Take that grin off your face, Cassidy. Well, oh, it, my it, goodness. Yeah, think about the, the, the piercing, right? Oh, boy. We miss you a lot, love. Keep me smiling every week. Oh, princess. By the way, who you miss? Me or Daddy Road? You have to say. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say. <laughs> yes, Juanita, it sure is. Um, Johnstone in St. Th oh, is a St. Thomas? Johnstone in St. Thomas? Yes, right at Lysol. That, oh, that, yes, that intersection true. Of yes, road, the true. Johnstone Road. Mm. Yeah, and you go up and you reach up at Oxford or you go down back. Okay. Cleo, be careful who you take things from. It's true, you know? It's true, Lise. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, both of us, princess. Guess what, girl? We missed you too. All right, good to have you with us tonight. See? But Daddy Road more. Oh, you mean my put up. Oh, she said that? Yes. Princess. You're no longer a princess. No, remember, say she would have been <laughs> she would have been um with me. Right. Un, 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 under that condition, right? Um, I'll, I'll forgive you. Can you see me more? Hear me more often, right, princess? Yeah, so you kind of steal. Sensei says you know the place, man. Yeah, he does. He had to live there, so he must know the place and yep. work there. All right, bless up yourself, Andy and the crew. Of course, he's blessing up Cassidy and Rude. Mm hmm. Big up. I only miss you, Cleo. Thank you, Lisa. I miss you too, honey. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> no. Look, we know, we, we know, we know. You see? Oh, boy. You, you, you know this song was it, um, Secret Lovers? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's what we are. That's, that's what, what you two are. are. That's, what, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what we are. Me not call no name. <laughs> Me not call no name. Oh, boy. <laughs> Juanita, husband in California, getting ready to take Juanita out for the... Um, for the get together time. Oh my god, that's so sweet. Ooh la la. Nice. <clears throat> you go, Juanita, and you go, hubby. Yes, and when you come back later in the California King bed, sure. Yeah, man. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm King excited bed. for them. Woo. For the King Bell. Normally, when you go are out, you, you know. Hold on. Are you excited for what's going to happen or are you excited for the King Bell? Because based on how you sound, the King Bell is <laughs> in a problem <laughs> later. <laughs> well, both. Whatever happens on the road, you know, is only a precursor for what's going to happen later on when you get back home, right? Yes. That's yeah. Right. So enjoy yourselves, guys. Who have a great and a fantabulous night and enjoy the rest of the weekend. Mm-hmm. Good up, good up, husband, carotin wife, which is right. Me radio no come off 96.1. Who sensei? That's right. <laughs> sensei mean, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yes, true, true talk. All right, good to know, good to know. Rosalie from Duck and Spiel, St. Thomas. Pleasant night. To the handsome gentleman, ooh la la, and beautiful, to how she beautiful, I'm going to say beautiful lady in studio. Thank you, thank you, that's me. <laughs> 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 oh boy. <laughs> All right, so, we have some issues that really, Big up really, Rosalie. definitely, we have some issues where really are plague the society and yes. on a real note, I have to keep it real and we have to highlight it and talk about it. If I call her on the 954, is that my... Um, DG's husband, radio husband. Hello, caller. Good night. This is I. Hello. Yes, this is I. Not hearing you. Hold on a minute, dear. Let's see if we can rectify the audio on this one. We're not. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah, hear me. Yeah, I knew it was DG's um radio husband. You know how you do? Hey, y y you and DG really know forget around or not? Why is that? On the, ear, the airwaves and, and, and in official demand, so, you know. Uh, how so? Tell us. No, well, you know, DG the pan, pan, the, the pan really are well. Mm -hmm. But you, you, you in the track and field, too? I'm into With it, the... yes. No, no lie. In what way? I'm into it. You run? I, if, I have to be, if I have to run, I'll run. Somebody chasing me, uh, I'll run. As far as, as far as administration is concerned. Um, no, but I support the team. <laughs> yeah, well, you're involved. Yes, I am. Because you, you lend, you lend, whether it is 
Moral support, um, yes. Moral supervisory yes. Or, or parental support. Yes, man. Yeah, you're into the football, you're into everything. Yeah, I try to be active, yes, dear. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. I thought, ta hey, talking about the football. Yes. Um, for, 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 the, for the life of me, you know, we can understand how come, how come the Portland Football FA and Styles don't have an active relationship, you know, or do they? Not as active as they ought to be, I believe. Working on it. Well, it's, it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what, well, I, can, what, what I can say regarding that, myself <laughs> and, um, and Raymond Grant has been in dialogue for probably about two or three years now, uh, yeah. trying to fine-tune certain and certain things. Last year, we should have had something going, but it never worked out for last year. So hopefully, you know... Before the end of this year, when the next even schoolboy football season start, we can have something going, you know. Yeah, man, the, P the PFA is, is 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 sleeping on that opportunity, man. All right, now table tennis me interested in an abrasion and chess, you know. No football, myself. I play with yeah. ball. Well, even so, even hmm. so, we have we have, rich, we have a rich history of uh, table tennis. Table sport. tennis, right, and chess as well. Yeah. But it's skill for football, you know, Dan Dan. I love badminton and tennis. Burn up. <laughs> Okay, even hey, though... Hey, you see, you, you see the swimsuit picture them with, um, what's your name? No, I have not seen them Daddy road. What's your name, um, <laughs> You sound very girl, excited. Like, Serena Williams. Oh, oh Jesus. You see them, you see them Dan Dan? No. The swimsuit, um, photo shoot? No. Boy, may I tell you, brother, that you see. <laughs> oh. Uh. Yo, I say you know when a woman have farm. Okay. Boy. Farm. And I know you're going to find out before the night ends, um, Dan Dan, about that swimsuit thing, don't it? <laughs> I don't know. I know you're like a book, <laughs> man. I know you're like a book. But, <laughs> but, 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 but I want to ask you now, Cleo. Yes? Um, with, with these primary school kids who got, who got primary school champs yes. year after year, and Portland has currently been in the top three. Right? Yes. And as someone who's close to the primary school system, where do these kids actually go? When them leave primary school, do they go to school in Portland? Do they go to high school in Portland? To be honest with you, sometimes they do, and sometimes other school um, clams for them and shows great interest in them. And sometimes they do go to these other schools, some of them. But pre predominantly, they stay here in the parish, yes. Okay. So, so, so you're telling me some, some, some child trafficking go on from early. Yes, sometimes they, they scope out and they when the, when they, um, the persons of interest come to these events and they scope them out and see their times and all of that and, you know, so on, their personal best and everything, they, they, they tend to follow them up and towards their <clears throat> peak of primary school when they're about to enter into the high schools, they come find the parents and they present these attractive offers for them. And as I said, sometimes some go take, to take it. Gravitate towards attractive sometimes offers, real or otherwise. Repeat that. Attractive offers, real or otherwise. Right, right. And um, in many cases, I think they follow through, though. Yeah. Um, what I find, though, and, and I think I have an idea why you asked the question, but what I find is that sometimes some of the students, not in many cases, though, are most, but some of the children, as they get older, they tend to lose the interest. And I'm not sure where that lack of interest is coming from, if it's from peer pressure or their personal internalization where they can't be bothered anymore or they have other things of interest on their heads now. Or if people out there who are so good and quote-unquote better than they are, they might tend to shy away from it. I, I don't know what causes some of them to not pursue and go right through, but sometimes they don't. And you can't really I, force I, them, I, I to be honest. Sometimes when, when these kids are lured away to other places, like in Kingston or Spanish Town or Clarendon, for instance, mm -hmm. that um, they get caught up in a, in a whole, um, how should I put it now, a whole, um, like a conveyor belt of, of recruits. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, the school will probably recruit like a 10 incoming 7th graders for yeah. track and field team 
and all ten now go make it. Right, right. So sometimes I think they get lost in that. Yes, that's true. Um, I I can tell you I have heard horror stories from from students themselves. Mm-hmm. One you tell me, sir, him go him go three high school in four years. Oh my goodness! Because him that him that him that high school up in a Portland and I'm not sure much interest in track. Mm-hmm. Another school, another school from the mid mid section of the island, come recruit him. Him him go there and have to leave because um him, him suffer some some sort of abuse at the school. Mm-hmm. And have to come back to Portland to another school. Oh wow! So his old meds you know. is all messed up, sorta. Of. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. So. So them thing uh, I me call it tra- me call it tra- child trafficking. And I think some them have some legislation against them thing in the in the country. You know? mm-hmm. Them thing uh, them thing need to be looked at seriously. And can I say though that um, I must say kudos to the schools, the high schools here. Um, I know in recent times we've had even at the last recently held, well, champs that went on a few months ago, we had some very good um, uh, performances from t- um, Titchfield, for one I can remember. Um, athletes who, even from, I remember from Ken Wright Primary School, they were there as primary students, and they moved on, and they have been training, and they did some good qualifying. Um, one the relay team for the girls... I'm not sure what class yes, it is, but four by that. one, they, they did very well at the class four, the class three really girls. Them. Them right. Really good. So you know, we've seen we've seen improvements in in the performances of our athletes here, the ones who have stayed here, and some of those who do go away to, as you said, rightly so, they have um, drafted the the cream of the crop, so to speak. Yeah. And among the cream of the crop, you're going to always have those who are in tenth place, as opposed to those who are at the top of the list. So sometimes they do fade for real. Hello? I think I lost him. All right, Dan, Dan, thanks so much for the contribution there. And I see he's following the athletics too. Kudos to you. Good. All right. Um, so we were on some issues, other so- social issues, which are very heart-wrenching for me to even discuss some of them. But because it's real, we're going to look yep. at, the, at, at some of them. Um, one major one, people, is this, you, you know, we know that crime is always a part of the society, one of the biggest sores in our society, if not any. And sad to say the little dot on the map that we happen to be, it's pathetic to the, the, the level of crime and violence that we have plaguing our country. And the issue in, is it Clarendon? That movie there? That, yeah, the movie. Because Daddy Root sent me that video and he said, boy, what? It's a movie, this. And I really had to agree because you see those things like when you're acting, they're acting some action movie. True. You know, it is crazy the level of lawlessness that goes on in this country. And I, I've heard mixed views where people are bashing the police. Some are saying, boy, we understand why they couldn't stay around because of the type of weaponry that is out there and all of that. Um, what's, what's your take on all of this? <sighs> Lord of mercy. I hope I get involved in this tonight. <laughs> all right. I'm going to be as frank as, as, as politically correct as mm-hmm. I can be. And that's two conflicting things I just said. All right, first and foremost, the it is evident, in my opinion, that these persons are experienced in what they do. Mm. Right? This this are never no petty mm-hmm. action. Right? No no petty robbery. Mm-hmm. The man them go there with an intention to get some money. What I can be glad for is that it is obvious that they they didn't have the intention to, to actually kill, kill or, anybody. Or they just yeah. want some money. Give yeah. me the money. We're gonna be. I business. gotta rate them for that. Not like no. Cause if, why? If 
if that could have happened in many other cases, oh boy, can I tell you? Then we would have spared a lot of lives, lives a lot, a lot of yes. persons who would have probably been positive contributors to the nation. You know, would would have still been alive. No, right. No, other part about it is that we have a number of Chinese nationals and nationals from other countries, mm -hmm. India, etc. And it was my personal belief that they were more protected than our own here in Jamaica. Because it is very rare mm -hmm. situation where something like this happens. Happens with them. There is always rumors of them being heavily extorted. Yes. Rumors. To that, I have no proof, no evidence, and I also have no interest in knowing. But if it is a fact, maybe, maybe something gone wrong. Mm -hmm. But it is also believed that for them, based on how the robbery was done and what was being said on the inside, it, it would appear as if they would have known that those persons would have had a portion of money stashed mm -hmm. away, not in the bank. All right. I don't know if, if it's a practice, but one of my biggest fear, you always f find out, say, crime follow crime, or follow fashion monkey. Mm -hmm. A few days after that, there's the other brazen one in St. Elizabeth. Similar fashion. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> to my understanding, it was like, hey, anybody, everybody turn off on a phone, anybody use their phone, everybody in your cell. Gone. Mm -hmm. And them do them robbery and them gone about them business. The type of high powered weapon where the man them a push. Oh boy. And a not normal as on Terminator command and Rambo business. Oh, I tell you. A, mix mm -hmm. up in a one. Mm -hmm. The hostage situation. Expandables. Ex right. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the hostage situation again to how the man them bring out the Chinese man, the man say so beat you off of the man them shoulder. And one next abnormal sitting that. Mm -hmm. That's an abnormal activity. I, I wonder Zin? though. No. Would they? Would again, these, the, the, the experience that these people would, would have displayed. Is it because they watch a lot of movies, or people who have gone rogue? Uh, well, <laughs> me just don't wonder if it was a movie. Me I watch. Me tell mm. you the truth. So <laughs> they, they could have watched movie and decided. So well, all right, <laughs> you know. We see this go on yes, the amount of robbery mo bank robbery movie we watch we must can learn something. I'm from wondering this. because Right. <laughs> but we, mu we 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 have to take this as a serious case mm -hmm. of the beginning, possible beginning of something to become a trend. Now, how will the authorities respond yeah. is another matter for us to see. Right? Because the, the, the truth about it, the police officers are human beings mm -hmm. with families like everybody else. Mm -hmm. And they have a right however, to protect themselves ultimately, initially. Right. However, First up. However, you take on a job and you are expected to perform. Is it the same as no. protecting, the, protecting the leader of your country? Do you look at it the same way? Your job the same way? Your job is your job. Okay. Right. You, you sign on for the job. You sign on for the job. That's what I'm saying. You know, how we, how we so respond. protect, serve, and reassure. We do you protect first. Hold on. Hold on. I'm asking. <laughs> you have to protect the civilians. Mm -hmm. You have to protect, protect the civilians. Now, what is kind of the, the, the big question in this matter is what, where were they? Mm. That's a big question. Where were they? And you say one vehicle drive past very fast. Oh my goodness. What the purpose of that? So fast, I couldn't even see the breeze. I only saw the breeze that, that, that it came yes. with. What's the purpose of that? There's another video where you see them actually fleeing the scene or appear to be fleeing the yeah. scene. Mm -hmm. Right? My first thought seeing it was that's a boy. Well, maybe they may go, go to a different location, location. but practically... Everybody move. Mm -hmm. Now, we hear talks about um, arming the police with heavier weapons. Uh, that was my now, thought at one point. I wondered. Now, now in my opinion, it, is v it would be very similar to how 
the plastic bag situation dealt with. <laughs> um, we still have not addressed the issue of solid waste disposal, uh -huh. the environment. Um, we still have not addressed this, the, the social problem of persons in motor vehicles and just dropping, dropping the garbage, garbage left, outside. right and center. I never seen nobody drop a scanner bag through no window yet. Never. Maybe it happens. The most people me know though with scanner bag a parachute. <laughs> but that's what I tell me say it is not a single use bag. Mm -hmm. Right? Most um bags where they get as scanner bag would I use again as garbage bags. So if you say the police them need higher powered weapon is almost it, it it don't we still have questions about the type of training mm. um that they are getting and the type of recruitment mm -hmm. they are get before you reach a training. I, I don't know if it is that way. I don't have any truth to it, but I heard that police in <coughs> six months, I don't think you can learn to serve and protect within six months. It's not a crash course business, right? Or is it? It ought not to be. Right. Now, the question again is, how did these weapons get in the island? That's where I am. That, uh, that's where I s I'm sitting here right? and I'm thinking. How, How did, did these they get here? Get in the island. Um, and what is what is the intention? Look here. The is it by sea? Hey, is it by air? If, if, what? If, 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 to be quite frank, if you look over wharf, you know, the amount of container over there, so, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know if they have enough workers for carrying them mm -hmm. container there, you know. But not only that. Right? No, it no must be in say a via. The sea board is, it but, reach in, in but is that they the come wharf. through conveniently because why you don't have enough manpower to no, search everyone? No. Remember, you know, we <laughs> also have the issue of the drugs for gun and mm -hmm. now meat for gun trade because the mati people go to and call left, right, and center. Mm. Um, to my understanding, and using that now as the trade for weaponry, yeah. No, <sighs> it's now 10 o'clock. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. We're soon forward. Yep. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Good day driver You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone You know so you can get a ticket for this sir Really officer? We just want to pick up some hardware supplies you know Do me a beg you, give me a blind huh? So if you need hardware supplies Why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's, comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. Extra, extra, read all about it. It's Fan Fusion tickets. Yes, pre sold Fan Fusion tickets are now available at Styles FM Studio, 4 Barmuk Avenue, Port Antonio, YK's Pharmacy West Street, Graham's Texaco, Port Antonio, Touch Pharmacy West Street, La Best Sports Bar, Port Antonio. All Styles FM DJs have tickets as well. Morant Bay, Texaco. Also, Universal Electrical and Plumbing Supplies, Wharf Road, Morant Bay, St. Thomas. For more information, call 518 2399. More ticket outlets coming soon. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital tea. 
Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 Come, Styles FM. Digital T. Our brain. Look, huh? Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome yep. back to Real Talk. We're, of course, talking about some real topical issues, social issues affecting and plaguing local island Jamaica and by interfering with the, the you know, the, 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 the freedom of people that freedom live because, here. You know, may I, tell you, may I tell you the truth? I'm not so sure right now what, what, what really is going what it, the, 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 what, the, what the motivation of them people are because me know, me, me know Jamaica as one poor country right with, with a lot of potential yep a but right now we're more a rob the potential than enhancing it or because acting on it a lot of persons it. more want to left boy yeah. Yeah. yeah but the amount of nurses where I migrate see the, what, what, teachers what, 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 what do you know uh, what, 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 what drive a man attack one oh of them God. Cuban nurses there you see me? And we need nurse. Nurse, I fly out like crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We can see what I go on. We'll call her on the 954. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Hello. You're on air. Hello. How are you doing? Hi. I'm not bad. How are you? Um, very good. Um, you know, enjoying the topic. You know, one of you guys um, listen to us every night, but, you know, I never call in before, but oh, I, I like this topic tonight. Good to hear you, sir. Where are you calling from? Well, I'm calling from Massachusetts, Boston. Oh, the cool, cool place. Okay, what's your name, sir? I'm Cleon James. All right, Mr. James, very, very good to have you on board calling in tonight. Thank you so much. All right. So, um, Let's hear um, your views uh, tonight. As a... As a, as a as a Jamaican citizen myself, living mm-hmm. in the United States, um, I have plans of moving back to Jamaica in the future and possible like building like, you know, you know, like a, you know, residential house in Jamaica. But as far as all the crime concern, it's kind of like, you know, startled me a little bit. Mm-hmm. What's your advice on that? Oh, boy. <laughs> You know something, no way no better than you are, to be honest, you know, in terms of the comfort, that ultimate comfort that everyone who goes away to work or even if they live there, there's always that desire to come home and to have a place at home where they call home. So I can't tell you not to come back. And, you know, I can't say to come despite your fear. You're going to have to search deep and long and hard and pray about this one because... It's really going to be your personal take. But wherever I would go, I know for a certainty that, boy, Jamaica, a home. The heart, home is where the heart is. And I think for me personally, my heart is going to always be at, in Jamaica. So I, I, I hope you're not discouraged, though. You know, it's, a be- it's still a beautiful island. There are still lovely people here. The majority of us are warm. As you know, because you're Jamaican, warm-hearted, good people. It's just that we want to find a way to weed out the people them who find a way to rehabilitate them or something to get the country back to where, well, some form of glory that we used to ex- experience here. So don't give up hope on us, though, on your island. Don't give up no, hope. I'm- I'm I'm not giving up hope, but but it's a little it's a little you know troubling just watching um like the video that you guys actually talking about. Yes. Someone sent it 
to my WhatsApp and God, man, it's like, you know, just watching that live, like in broad daylight, not yes. even, like nighttime and those kind of weaponry. So even if you as a, a, a Jamaican citizen is a firearm holder, uh -huh. you can't really go up against that. Mm -hmm. Like, how can you help yourself? And if you call 911, it is no police coming. Like, like that's not good for the residents. Are mm. a person that looking to return sometime back to Jamaica? It, it's not a good look. But but you know, um, not excusing their actions. But this is not something that happens every other walk you walk on the streets in Jamaica. This is not something that you know happens to every other person. So while it is that it is unacceptable, it's a wanton level of disrespect for the people who live here and to the people who do business here, but it's not something that if you go outside of your house right now after three in the daytime, you can be guaranteed that, okay, they're going to hold you up and take all your money or rob your business place. Or it's, it's not something that... And it's sad for me because when people see this, they think, oh, on a regular day in Jamaica, this is what happens. But that's not true. That is not yes, true. Yes, I totally, I totally understand and agree. But um, my thing is, um, like, a return resident would be a, a soft target. Would, would you, you agree? No, no, no. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. They have been, they, some have been, one or two of them, well, some have become victims of situations similar to robbery and so on. Um, but I wouldn't say, oh, all returning residents are targets. No. I'm not in a position to say that. Not there is no statistics to prove that, um, but there have been incidents, and it's not majority well, of incidents either. Well, I mean, even there was a video out, um, like I'll say, probably like two months ago. I don't know if you see it, where someone um, it was, I think it was a WhatsApp video, and they were saying anybody that having in mind to come back to Jamaica, you want to think twice because. Um, Couple, I think it was the person, family member, came mm -hmm. back from, uh, I think it was London, and um, they actually, you know, robbed them and murdered them in the house. And, you know, wow. That, you know. The own family member you know did that? I mean? I'm not going to let it discourage me or anything, but just watching those videos and just seeing the behavior of this criminal, it, it's really startling. You know, it's really mind wracking and it makes you wonder where they're from and it makes you wonder all kinds of things where they get the weapons from and all of that um it, it's sad it's really sad and it's disheartening for people like you who really want to come here to come back home you know to to, to reside in the future it's really really and, and not only just want to come home i want to do business in jamaica i want to uh -huh. like set up you know, my retirement, like, a, as a business. Yeah. But I don't want, you know, you know, it's kind of tough, guys. I mean, it's not only me. It's a couple friend of mine. Like, we have plans of yeah. moving back home, building houses, and, um, you know, opening business. But, like, the protection is, 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 is you don't want to go back home. I have to farm a gang. I have to be paying extortion fee, or, you know, and, and all of that stuff. And it, it's kind of tough. And there is something that needs to get done. Mm hmm oh boy the struggle is definitely yeah, real so, i mean it's disheartening but you know i love the topic and i you know i really admire you guys you guys make me laugh every night you know? <laughs> that's so good keep up the good work all right thank you so much mr respect, james respect, and respect. thank you for calling in we really appreciate that call tonight mr james no problem god bless mr james hello mr james still there I think he's lost. We got, he's gone. Me, me, me did want to ask him if he ever got a place where they teeth for a lobster. <laughs> where, 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 where they go up on trip. <laughs> One place where can, all you can eat lobster. In Boston, Massachusetts? Eh. Yeah. Hmm. Me, me, me did want to know if he go there and how much lobster he ever move yet. Oh, Jesus. But Leave Mr. Na, James alone, but man. Normally, no, but I'm going to tell you something. Normally, I know the man them are teeth. Who knows? Well, when I was in Boston, Massachusetts some years ago, I did not steal anything. Did no you lobster, go, no nothing. If you did go to the place, you eat lobster? <laughs> I do eat it. You like it? You love it? Not a lover of it. Mm, but I love, but I'm more of goat, if curry the, goat. If the opportunity presents itself for, for you to steal No, lobster. I'm not stealing no lobster. I'm afraid of lobster. The look of it, even when it's dead, it's scary. Mm. Yes, it's really scary. 
but I'll eat it a little, yeah. Right. Some curry, um, curry lobster or coconut juice, rundown, like, yeah, nice. Well, I can't fool mm-hmm. on shellfish, so I don't know the taste of it. Okay. So, this thing I know, what me I say is that, and you can hear from Mr. James, is a, is a, is a genuine concern oh, yes, man. Definitely. Of, of, of many persons. I think it has more hurt the economy than anything, than anything else. else. Yeah. So, it, 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 it would be good. I, I don't want reassurance right now. Right? Reassurance is, in my opinion, nowadays cheap talk. Yeah. We want to see some, some form of action. We want to see more. Um, the, 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 the thing about instilling fear in persons, fear for your life, the more you remain quiet, is, is, is the more... It reaches home? Yes. It's almost like you have, you, you say, one nest with termite or chichi, chichi in your house. Mm-hmm. And you say, boy, you got to deal with it. But... You don't get the time. Mm-hmm. It's a manifest. Procrastination. It, it, right. It's, it's growing, it's growing, it's growing, it's getting worse. Now, we have to realize uh, it's a different, we're in a different paradigm now. We, 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 when it comes down to crime, how people look at life, how people value life. It, 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 it becomes, in, in, in the mind of a lot of persons now, it is so easy to kill someone. Me and my wife always oh say, boy. what is man? And then she's always follow up, man is fragile. Yep. Right? So, and me always try to look at it in context of the different ways in which somebody can lose their life. Uh, <laughs> you, you see, it's, it's almost like, say, boy... People think so you cannot say, yo, me will kill a boy. Then boom, you see, me tell me I'll kill you and you get up and run. Yeah. And I saw it go. Right? There, there, there is not much regards put into another person's, person's life. And I'm, the, the, and I'm wondering the, the, what's the, causing that. Me soon, me soon give you my, my opinion on that. We, we keep on making it seem like, as if said, the easiest thing for someone to do to resolve an issue is to kill the person. I tell you something. Deterrent from crime, in my opinion, is the best way to fight a crime. Deterrent. Mm -hmm. Now, if persons see people getting away with it, then it's going to give the impression, it's going to create that impression that that it is it is it is okay because the likelihood of you being caught caught or punished or punished is, is less minimal yeah right than being living with that burden of facing that person another time and you have those persons who are also of the view if they man somebody in a confrontation them of the view of you know what let me get rid of that person the out of my life so I'm going to have that confrontation that person mm-hmm. to deal with ever again in my life so the easiest thing for them to do is to say, hey, you know, say, that's mad they don't like me and him for dead. One of the quickest things, that boy they for dead. Mm-hmm. It is so, in kids' mind, adolescent mind, adults' mind, yeah. the elderly mind. In this me. In this me, yeah, in for so, dead. Uh-huh. And it becomes something like, say, boy, you know what? Uh, I don't so things set. Because I can tell you, you have a number of persons who believe, who have lost so much faith in our judiciary system, yes. in our crime fighting system, in our policing. They have lost faith in be thy neighbor's keeper. Mm-hmm. So the, 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 the reaction for everybody now is as a them of them own law unto themselves. So a man hungry, may I go down and say, go, 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 go in another shop there, take what I want and walk out. If this man said nothing about it, that's man that's dead. dead. Uh-huh. That is how simple it is. And no matter how sure court and diplomatic we want to make it look for those who are in charge of those areas, uh-huh. that is the view of the people. Even if it's a crime fighting is working, it is working in some so, ways. Yeah. This, this um, getting community involved and community groups involved, how many, and I want somebody to call and tell me, how many 
community centers have been built and end up in ruin. It, a lot of them were built based on people say, yeah, man, we want a community, we want a community center where, where we can meet and we can have little mm. sewing and go on and little, learn a little trade. How many of them built? A lot of politicians out there built a lot of them with good intent, but the people themselves, the people themselves who it built for, make them Segregated. end up in a disrepair. Yeah. Right? Why? It, and is that because the, they have, as you said, lost hope in the system? So they don't we believe have, that we even lost, if, for example, they were to come and report an issue. I, I saw something, I know of something, I suspect something. Do people have that confidence to be able to go we have and lost, share? We have, we, we have lost confidence. We have really lost confidence. Me, uh, me I don't have a lot of confidence either. Can that be one, 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 one other thing, one other thing about it is that, say, you see this culture of you, I'm a virgin, I know a man down the road and him can do something for me. Mm -hmm. uh, That's one, that one of the things. We, we know, this cut line culture, this go up to the front and know the bank teller culture and everybody's away. This thing about, oh, all that space are for me. My soon come. So by the time you think you can reach up at the front of the line, you say four or five somebody come in front of you. Say, oh, remember somebody there behind you. Mm. Right? And you sit down and you work with it. The security guard, see what I go on. The teller up, up at the front, see what I go on. The bank manager, see what I go on. And nobody does nothing about it. It is a free for all culture where we have. And we just lower man for the way they want to do. So nobody wants to go by the regulation of this land. If them leave here, so they're going to abide by it. But of this land, they no want to have no respect for nobody else's time, nobody else's sanity. You have a man, you have your yard, and your neighbor have pig pen beside you because him feels a boy, him feels a pig in a finger because I saw him go eat a food and not thinking about what the inconvenience for it will cause you next door neighbor. Him not busy with that neighborly relationship. So you complain, you know what I'm? Mean? You feel dead. <laughs> That is how the culture or the practice, and, and that is how things end up, you know. The habits, our practices become habits, habits. and habits becomes culture. Yeah. Now, the bad mind thing is now a culture. So if once, you, once somebody is not seen, uh, is of, of your view, view, then bad mind you. Mm -hmm. The bad, every... Even if it's wrong. 80% of dancehall music right now is about bad mind. Right? Show off and smuddy and floss. Why you want show off and smuddy? Why you want smuddy seal? If you have it, you have it. Don't you just don't. Right? If you don't, you don't. But if you have it, you have it. And thank, thank God you can have it. But when you do have it, why you have a floss say so you are show off and smuddy? Here the other part about you know the irony. We always as poor people burn out jacket and tie. Burn out this, burn out that. Mm -hmm. But as soon as we get little money, we jump in a jacket and tie. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we have the thing twisted. At the end of the day, if we have regulations and we have rules, if everybody feels a boy, them can abide or try to abide by the regulations and the rules. My thing say things will a little bit, little bit better. So you're saying we don't know how to appreciate the democracy that we live in, eh? We don't know what fully the constitutions are because you have those who want to breach the constitution and try to impose upon people what is their right. Per, yeah. And not thinking everybody about... Everybody has their own every, right and everybody their own. Have their, exactly. Mm -hmm. So there is no true order right now. As soon as you hear say, boy, something come in and if a man talk this, and if a man not say nothing... That you expect people, ex you can't ex expect people to have confidence in a system right now where there are, where, where are a number of persons who are supposed to serve and protect are evidently involved in crime. Mm -hmm. The one at Spanish town where the man gets shot up, right? At the party. When you check it out, no for the man who were involved in the shoot up, they're my officer. <laughs> oh. No. How you know as a man I go feel you are drive through a place and you see police come out and stop you. And say to yourself, boy, listen now. 
you yeah, drive 80 in the 50 kilo zone, but you don't know the thing set already. You understand? Mm. How, how you feel? So everybody I try to have a little hustling on the side. And that's how Jamaica set. Hustling and juggling. Mm. Nobody wants to say they're going to set up a business and follow the necessary steps and procedures. They can't bother with that. Because maybe when them try to go set up this, the, 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 the thing the orderly way, they book up a little sour face, smuddy. Boy, I can't deal with nobody now. Or somebody come work for, late for work and you want to get your, your thing registered and one long line and somebody distracted upon them phone. There are so many things right now where we need for those fix. It's a mess. Yep. It's a total mess. And I don't know if the, 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 um, the policy makers themselves actually have the solution to this. Because there are so many things right now that are questionable about how some of the policymakers them are behaving. Yep. A frolic of their own. Wow. So if, situa- if, if you then I look to the pastor, like the pastor, you hear the scene where they were the pastor man where the man do the testimony? No, I didn't get that one. <laughs> yes, you hear the one with the, pastor, with, the, with, um, with the man who go up on the scene and do, and do the testimony? So the pastor man, I do whatever to your wife? No. You know about it? No. So now if you have the pastor man, where you're supposed to look up to and misbehave, mm-hmm. or you expect the congregation to do. My Lord. And it's the same thing. If what we are seeing, and you have so many things happening now with those who lead us. And it appears as if say, we don't know whether it is if people just come up with some of them something yeah, and just try to taint people's career and character, mar them career and character. But the general population think none for them something I just want nine day wonder and it just die a natural death. Mm. Not now come out of it. And it's the same exact thing I go on. If people say everybody are get where everybody go feel so they can get with them, I'm gonna try to for themselves. Real talk. So we don't know where where if it turn. See the bridge from foreign, they want to come and come invest. Mm-hmm. And, and you're not other sure. Friends, other people want to come. Papa, me can't tell you this. I mean, we tell you. Hannah, we want you to have them a warm sun here. And green, and green bush. And sunshine. <laughs> so go do your research. And find out if there are more peaceful country for living here. Kevin in Tampa, Florida because, says. Well, I know. Because for you to take up yourself and say you got a foreign go live for a better life. And that was a decision that we all are owners of a foreign make. Uno make that decision for a particular reason. So, the kind of solidarity, me not feel it straight up. Because if me a one, me a one boy when me go to England go study, right? And everybody say, where well, you go back? And me come back to my yard. And all I would up, they said the most time, come back to the yard. And some gone back to foreign, you know. Right now, me I say, me feel that I go to foreign too. Because me not like what I go on. But is it any better necessarily ever? Elsewhere. Well, me just go up on the internet a while ago when the Virgin call and find out say a forty had people dead in America at yeah. the time. It, but yeah. for the size place, comparative to Jamaica, uh-huh. a little bit that. Sad to say, but a little bit that. So if you look at the statistics, what is it what 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 is what is the likelihood mm-hmm. of you dying from crime in the United States comparative to comparative to Jamaica? Mm. It better me turn America if I hope them there. Kevin says, would you believe that, would you believe it's not, it's only Jamaican overseas have negative thoughts about Jamaica? Other nationalities wishing to come to Jamaica have that same feeling? Of course. Mm. Of course. There, there are so many things happening now. Um, classism, racism. We you never know, so could I really have gone? The old thing we are going right now, where, where, where people are of the view, say, um, the, the, the arrangement with, with Jamaica and China about the Chinese government as some takeover business mm-hmm. and this, we don't know if it's true but it's a conspiracy that's happening that's not being addressed for, 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 for reassurance hmm. and, 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 and there's an impression say, boy, everybody, everybody just try to scrape a food for themselves for escape or get what they can get now because the, 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 um, at some point in time this finite pool 
or the opportunity when me get, I go in one day, so me grab as much as what I can grab right now. Mm -hmm. So if that is the idea and mindset of everybody, then every, everybody guilty. Everyone is guilty of it. So me no know me no, me no know really what it, what what go on, but me no like what go on. Me neither. Right? It, it's more it's more a fear. It's, it's like the boy you, you you just touch upon the place, and when all right, you say nowadays, you know pray again, thank God for wake up this morning. Mm. You pray now, thank God we make it through the day. Yep. Thank God me reached my house and I can't lock my grill. Mm -hmm. And thank God and I stepped have... out the night without anybody trying to break in. Make them broke in and go along in, they go take out where they want to go. Thank God me never hinder when yeah. they come in there. I saw the prayer them I got nowadays. Thank God me make it through the day. Mm -hmm. So too much things are going. Neighbors now live good with them one another. Oh my goodness. People are doing things for earth people. Deliberate yeah. for earth people. Yep. Somebody I read somewhere in their life get a promotion, two tools. The, yeah. the, 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 people start saying, yo, oh, him get that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, yeah, you yeah, hear me? 10.30, ladies and gentlemen, the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. The hearts of men have and real talk is sponsored wicked. by Native Audio stage, stage and, and lighting. lighting. Soon come. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors Get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards We can satisfy your printing needs Whether it is for presentation to your clients Or for submitting building and subdivision application Make it VJ Printing Services Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares We will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need We do high quality white paper printing That is water resistant and never fades Unlike traditional blueprint For more information call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Confusion! The most anticipated party of the summer is back! Styles FM Fan Fusion Party Episode 6 Drunken Masquerade Saturday, July 13, 2019 at the Bayview Waterfront Property Oysters Bay, Port Antonio, Jamaica Come here, Styles FM's finest DJs juggling retro hits from the 70s, 80s, 90s early 2000s. Admission 700 pre-sold. 1,000 at the gate. VIP 3,500. Styles Ebo 6,000. Party starts at 7 p.m. sharp. Listen to Styles FM for ticket outlets or call 876-518-2399. Fan Fusion Party. Drunken Masquerade. Dress tropically elegant. Fan Fusion is not just a party. It's an experience. Must be 18 years and older to enter. ID required. Drink responsibly. Sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how. Every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 9 to 10 p.m. Take us to work. Take us on a go. Take us wherever you go. Styles FM. Take Styles FM with you on the go. The number for USA, 213-992-4360. That's 213-992-4360. And for the United Kingdom, 033-0010-3322. That's 033-0010-3322. Styles FM. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876 286 9216 or 439 5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. 
native audio stage and lighting. Now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native audio stage and lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yes, welcome back. And let me say big ups to Kirk in Boston, Massachusetts. I thought Kirk was in um, Connecticut. Okay, what? Boston, Massachusetts is where he's at, it seems. Good night, Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Um, the name of the restaurant is called the Nordic Lodge, and it's in Rhode Island. What's the restaurant you're talking about, apparently, in Boston? I don't remember what but I'm going to say a whole lot of laughs at the Okay, then. <laughs> Good to see you on the text line, Kirk. Yeah. Um, Kevin, well, we heard from Kevin earlier. Let us shout out to some people who are texting in. Marvin, how you doing, Marvin? How is wifey? Um, well, let's see. <clears throat> Not us, Cassidy. <laughs> Marvin says, I really thought that the road. I'm 100% with that. You are so right. And of course, all the things that the road talk a while ago, which is just really, real talk. Real, real issues. Kimoy says, real talk, daddy rude and lady Cleo, the heart of man. Oh my God. Can I tell you? Has become desperately, desperate and wicked. Too much bad mind about no. All right. Um... Uh, landscapers in New York, yeah. Big up yourself, real talk indeed. Um, all right. Hey. On... <coughs> yes. You say the old bad mind culture where we take up. We need to really and truly look into it and look in look in ourselves and try to figure out what it mean. Right? And what we have become as a result of having that view. Mm say somebody a bad man you know. because I know every time you somebody no say eye to eye means them bad man you know it just means say any person just not agreeing on a particular situation at a particular time mm -hmm. and not because you think you're right and the person think they're right means that there has to be confrontation. There can be conflict mm -hmm. without confrontation. confrontation. How we resolve that? You can agree to disagree. To disagree Definitely. And move on. Well, you have to find that sometimes when people have up their one another because they don't see people, eye to eye. Because they did not forgive when I ask you to forget. Well, you can forgive and move on. Because you see, once you're, you're at peace within yourself, Real talk. you're at peace with everybody and anybody else will come to you and I try to True. store up things. Because some of the times, you know, it is the environment, your circle where you're in. The people you're around, yep. The, 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 the ones them who are trying to influence and instigate the negative. Because you have those people out there who think thrive like fungus who thrive like leech mm -hmm. who thrive of people being in conflict mm -hmm. them get orgasm mm -hmm. from that sad to say so you have to know when people are coming to you with positive or I come to you with information with what would I want to say? Let me find a nice way. You have to <laughs> you have to know <laughs> euphemistic kind of way of putting it, eh? Yes. You have to know when people are come to you with information with hidden agenda. Yep. Hey Cassidy, you know self what do you miss it clear and clear say boy your foot big. What is my agenda? Mm -hmm. To create a rift between Cleo and no, just for say it, you know, just for say it. Why, why would I never come to you and say, "Boy, Cleo, say your foot big." Mm -hmm. If your foot big, your foot just big. Mm -hmm. That's her view. 
And if clear think your foot big, your foot, you know, fear of you, your foot that, big. Exactly. And you feel no whether or not your foot, foot big. big. Yes, yeah, it's neither here nor there to you. It should be. Neither here nor there. So, if you know, I'm going to take it up and say, boy. You go to Cleo. You go to Cleo. Or do your program, you come on here and talk something about Cleo. Mm-hmm. Because she did say your foot big. Yeah. In my opinion, that shows one on your side, Cassidy, as being a weak person, mm-hmm. and two on my side as being one who festers yep. people to be in conflict. Me want to say that. Me want to say clear. So me I come to you, no, no, as a little dirty hypocrite, you know. Try to say, boy, group dynamics. Me, the punk, me, 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 cast the, me, me, cast the dopes. Yo, cast the one clear, come talk about your foot big. But probably me never come to say, boy, you know, say clear, say, boy, you know, you answer my head no bar like that, the road one. You left out the part there, man, conveniently. Conveniently, me left out the part there. Mm-hmm. Because right now, me did wish. I me, mean, because I guess, you know, probably with the big foot, you know, she try to say, boy, you have a, you know, <laughs> you understand? <laughs> I mean, we like a old cranny self. <laughs> Wish I did me. She has said me foot big. Uh-huh. But me come to you in a way you now where oh I go make you look, you know, twisted. Y- the, ho- twisted. twisted. The, whole, the whole idea of what So the, the full meaning yeah, behind, behind it has been edited. Yeah. So it come across to you now because maybe me know the boy is a YouTube boy. You yeah, press button. Yep. So people have to know how to analyze some of them something when people are come to them with certain and certain information, you know. And what the reason them are come to you with them information there. And rightly so, it's one of the people that you, you really just pick and choose. Some people who you know must not just not react to none at all. Don't don't even inter- entertain them none at all. Yeah, there's some people you know them style. Them style. Just not entertain them because they're going to sap your energy. They're going to pull you down in the gutter with them. Because there are some people, they're on the gutter level and they cannot ever rise them up. Them can't rise up. So when you associate, and I'm not saying don't say man in our Audi if you have to, yeah? If you have to share some information or whatever. Because we have to all interrelate to each other <laughs> at points. But the friend, friend, lap up thing with them. We and them just Batman chamber. Just Pick some people you just know say that company there no mesh with my personality. They're not edifying me. Whatever I say now, edify me now, uplift me now, make me grow as a person. Now make me think deeper and wider about life. Just avoid them people there because we can tell them you know it's not really hard for, for detect them and pick them up. Because I've been able to detect some people who just know say I know my friend that that not gonna be my friend none at all. I stay away from them. Sometimes, so, sometimes the the, the the negative energy. You know, make, 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 make say where, 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 where. Art of love saying, your real talk crew, I greet you, beloved Cleo, and your co-host in peace, love, trust, justice, and freedom. Real talk. Our society is not racist, but more classism. That creates a level of segregation because I am more financially secure than you, so automatically you feel superior. We lost our dignity and self-respect. Foreigner who refuse to come home are because of social media in Boston slash America. People die by the hundreds per day. They use media. They, um, they, us, they use media. The U.S. rather, that should have been capitalized, all right? The U.S. media don't advertise it. So at times, we are so naive. Positive thoughts create positive results. It is all about your profile and how you treat people in general. Then these foreigners come forward. Um, let's see the rest of that. Then these foreigners come forward and act as they are, they are so better. Always ready to say something to make you feel less. So to I, it come forward to how you treat and speak to people. The foreigners must remember they own nothing in foreign. In jam rock you do. It's deep. For these crimes happen all over the diaspora. Some need to listen to BBC news and hear live shots and bombs. Be happy. We must create a level of cooperative collective unity. Heart of love. Well, Uh, all right. 
Thank you. I agree with certain things where I say, certain things I disagree. Now, in terms of what is happening internationally, definitely some, some, some gruesome things are going on over the world. Mm -hmm. BBC News, Al Jazeera, mm -hmm. as some of the, in my opinion, two of the better yes, news networks them will exist. Right? But at the same time, too, we have to acknowledge the truth and the reality of what, of what is happening here. So it is no secret that we have our own problem in Jamaica to deal with. Definitely. Right? We have to deal with the mindset of the people who feel so bad for bringing the machine in the place. Why you need to bring in that in the place? What's the motive for that coming to the place? A, pla a place where we would have been known or we want to be known as a peaceful place where man and man can it's reason agreed. and enjoy themselves. Why do we need to bring in certain weaponry in the place or entertain those who want to bring in the weaponry in the place? Right? Because so, with crime, when crime festers, so, then money... The, 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 there, to me, is more than just greed, you know. Power. Well, yeah, that too. Right? So we need to look upon, the, upon it and say, how did they get here? Why whoever wanted it here or whoever brought it here, you know, what's the reason for them wanting to come here? Do we need to entertain that the reason there? Right? But, but those who are entertaining the, at, it are those who the, are benefiting in every way possible from the, it. At the end of the day, you know, we go back to basic. The days when you used to have man with just knife. Right? Who feels that him have the power over our next man with a knife and grab a little chin with around your neck. Mm. But you tell that it. So you have to find a way you now how you can, can defend yourself because in your opinion, maybe you are not being protected by the law man. Because when you call a lamb and you hear say, boy, they're not a vehicle, you say they're not a vehicle, they're so. Look at big, big Jamaica with full road situation. Toyota Corolla, the police are doing that. <laughs> Toyota Corolla, what do they do with that? They need vehicle where, 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 where more sturdy and equipped mm -hmm. because two tools, the, 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 the whole maintenance aspect, the yes, maintenance the bill, yes. the gas bill. Personally, we don't pay enough tax to Jamaica for, for, for we live or we want to live, you know. But we don't earn enough to pay enough tax either. To the type of lifestyle and certain things we say beneficial socially in America and other countries, they might pay some big old tax up there. Hmm. Back in the days, 1994 and them time, when you could have spent 40 US dollars and full totally. Oh, Lord. You can't do that again nowadays. Mm -hmm. Certain things that we can afford at Jamaica. When, when you go to America, one plate of food, a $10 ad. Right? That a $1,300 one thousand, $1, that in a Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Can't if you curry goat. You mad? <laughs> and I'm out in the get. You know I get the Rami. <laughs> so the reality is for lifestyle in New York or the cost of living in New York more than in Florida mm. but New York people might earn more so the tax bigger up there so one time New Jersey was tax free not tax free again but we're talking about what going on a full yard right yeah so full yard with business about it not look good how we are treat one another in a Jamaica that the man around is the one for say, yo, I am curry off the ends, yes, so everybody after so I am the big man about ya. And where that come from? Ego. And power. Power, power hungry people. Right? And that man they lock the place, I am the people I have to talk to. Mm. And where that come from? The power comes comes stems from the I I presume right? some inferiority complex. Two people now agree. Yo, me go call Cassie now because Cassie will come deal with things. And where that come from? A them something there we have to look pan and I try to figure out where what's the nucleus of all of this and how can this be fixed? It's no bandit business and no both say boy police forget gun like with the man them out they got. 
We have to have para paramilitary style and tactics because I want to go on. Yes. But six months of training can't provide the type of security and confidence what we need. Do you think zones of special operation is um, the way to go? Right now, anything, in my opinion, we are kind of correlating away, but it is a band-aid. It's a band-aid, exactly. It's a band-aid because, guess what? Migration is one thing. Right now, none of them never check my car chunk yet. <laughs> never yet check my car chunk. And what you take about the pro possible proposed um, gun amnesty? <laughs> How effective do you think that you, will you, be? You mean for report and carrying and anything? Yeah. There? And everybody know a gun there. And those who do, do you think they will carry it in? How many will carry it in? All right. The gun amnesty thing I go on a long time. I'm probably about three, four year old that. Mm -hmm. So. But as it relates to not know, the, the, the newest know, proposal for it now. Well, me not, me I, I don't know if I think it's. I don't think it's. I don't know the about it. I can't talk about it because I don't know about it. I but, know. but a long time, they must say you're, 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 you're carrying a gun and you get a money and so on and so forth. The man they make more money after not carrying it in. That's what I'm saying. I don't know how right? effective that is. What are the other strategies that we are coming up with? The man they make more money. Right? We have serious border patrol issues. Exactly. Serious border patrol, patrol issues. When things are left from Haiti come to Jamaica, right, along a certain part. And is that is convenient? That is happening conveniently so? I don't know how that talk of fix. <laughs> right? Because one, oh, time, one, one time a man used to go there, you know, now they might come here, you know. Which means that we are import certain things at Jamaica again, you know. Mm -hmm. Rosalind has a, a, has a comment. Rosalind from Dockensfield says, I strongly think that corruption is in, uh, is in a lot of our DNA. We as people sometimes are not even honest to our own selves. This problem of crime starts with all of us and can end with us. The hear, uh, ear and deaf, see and blind mentality has been embedded in us. So we all let our neighbors off the hook when he or she is wrong. Don't condone wrong when it starts when it stare, stares you in the face. Crime starts in the heart. What kind of heart do you have? Please let it be that of love. Real with tough. love. Thank you so much, Rosalie. No, Deep and, 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 speech and, and, there. And, and a real thing because you see, remember you know, we go repeat them, say boy. If the one that thump you, you have to thump him back. If the one that this, you have to do him back. Right? We, 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 we not grow people with, with, with love no more. Mm. You know, we are talking about, say, boy, church for go pray and fast and the church for intervene and all them something there. That no nothing to do with it. This is not a spiritual thing. China man pray to one different God. Call him and pray to one different God. This has to do with your inner self, like what the sister has said. Okay. It has to do with your inner self. How can I live in peace with thy neighbor? And also your neighbor have the same meds like you. How can I live in peace with thy neighbor? Me now go raise a pig in the back of my yard. I go find one farmland down somewhere where I can lease. We put pig in her. And then now the man where teeth out the man, them pig now, say, boy, and you know goat. what? Me, I go find a way to get some goat and some this for myself. And raise it for myself. So me, I go trouble the man where, but, where, 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 where I try to earn for him thing. Me, I go try to earn my thing one different way. But, but my take on this, on this backyard thing with the goat and the pig. If it is that you can host your pigs in your backyard, you have the space. My take is by all means go ahead. However, you have to make responsible decisions and choices. And no say you have the responsibility to ensure that your neighbor isn't affected by what I am doing. My girl, you ever pass out a you ever pass out, <laughs> out, out, out a case yet? <laughs> you ever pass out a case so the hours? No yet? talk about it. Right? They're not maintaining. No. My They're girl. Not, are they maintaining? Pig belly not normal. Pig chip worse than for me. I'm a 
and for your body, no? And for me, no, go. And me, I love pork, so? So, I can stop eating it so, still, no, lie. Me can't agree with that part there. Certain things are for certain places. Well, that's a true to still, but boy, with, right? with responsibility, some people can keep no, them things nice and clean. Env- with with your, en- your proper planning. Remember, I'm not caught in my girl where the people are tile it and, and use it and flush, you know. <laughs> I do like me when I do up on the bus stand, Massachusetts trip, you know. As it comes a boom on the, on the bus, so my belly take me and it comes a bam and drop something flush at the same time, you know. <laughs> and a bad no smell, you know. <laughs> the pig, nah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> right? <laughs> me as a man, no, me, me not like dog. So when I have a neighbor with dog, I don't even look over the neighbor. Because if I look over the neighbor yard and I see the dog, I can't name my food for the day. Mm. So certain things, we have to know say, boy, the environment and of that. But where the whole issue a crime, every single day we talk about fire the commissioner, police commissioner, fire the, um, the minister, that not help you. The problem bigger shut than the commissioner. Down, no, shut down mobile reserve. The problem bigger than the commissioner. The problem bigger than the minister. Is no single individual solution. The problem bigger than the police them. The problem bigger than the police them are asking res- residents to help them. Uh-huh. With the nucleus are what we need to find. We start in the mindset. A war go on. Look on the man, then we are killing little people them. Oh, God, man. This is one hour, you know, where me never know what make him go a chop up woman and chop up him, 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 him seven know, months look old. Here, eight months. Eight months old picnic. Don't even go there. That one going through me off guard completely. And then now, man jump gun and came out about search and rescue. What we are search for? Me for, no. For rescue. Dead body, what? I hope. No, I don't want to say that part that way just tell me. I tell you, you know, I can't go down the road there, you know. But, <laughs> but I can't go down the road there but, because I don't have but, no remorse but, for them but, people but, but there. But the mindset, for practically every single week, there's a domestic Mystic. issue. What is happening with the men? No, leave it. No. What me, is happening? No, hold on. If, if I go down gender... May I go part company? No, no, no. But look at the situations, w- Rude. Listen. Wha- well, uh, what is happening? Well, you on. see what, hold on, man. You see what is happening, and it is happening where the men are Clear. resulting to this level of violence. What Clear. is happening? I'm going to leave gender out of it. And where do you go with it? Let's then? go to the nucleus. What would be the reason? Right? We can say, if you want to say men, then I can wake up and say, guess what now, clear. You know, say probably the food, and the food react different to, to the man hormone than or respond to the woman hormone because man have war hormone and woman have hormone. Interesting. Right? So, me now want to boil up to a gender issue. It's not issue. so much a gender issue right? I'm, I'm speaking on. I'm it's, saying it's the reality is it's the men who are doing these things and what is happening. Si- it's a situation where possibly start from even before you become a man. It's a situation where possibly start from genetics. Yes, it's a situation, not disputing that. It's a situation where probably start from your family tree. It's a situation where probably start from some mental sin that go on in your head where I react to you in a certain way. And you're saying that these men who are, these people who are carrying out these anus acts, it happens to just be predominantly men? Is a thin line between sanity and insanity. For both male and right? female, no? For both male and yeah, female. Yes, so why is that the men no. are going across this thin I, line so easily and readily? Why, the reason why I don't want to go on a gender issue, because you have some things where we tick off a man and woman where we knock the hell out of you. And we just don't know if we deal with it. So a lot of the a lot a lot a lot of the things that we are circulate on social media. Right? The last one when me get pam my thing, you know, the man say, yo. Me kill my woman and because she had nagged me and me can't deal with it. It don't make no sense to me. Me neither. It don't make no sense to me. There is no way of getting right? this woman off your back. So me have said to you, say, so me have said to you say, boy, it don't make no sense. That's why I said I don't want to go down gender. They're, because they're, because guess what? Everybody are going to play innocence to the person, to the victim. 
everybody I go play innocence to the victim. Yes. You see, if a man, well, you see if a man will, will wake up and 10 women kill 10 men, the level of how we look at it, it's going to be different. Yes, it is. It's going to be biased. It's going to say, it's about time. I said, I don't want good on gender. We better we deal with the issue. I say, yo, right, wrong. Well, for me, right? for the me, man them feel better. Right? For me, it's going to be that. No, I would ask the question what is happening to her men? The man generally them, speaking, the man them feel better. The, one of the issues about news, you know, and people always ask me why your styles are the news. I say, say, listen to me now, brother. If you want to hear what I'm going, you go up on the next station, then oh. because they carry the same sitting them. A majority of what I'm going are bad news. A GIS me stick to because you will learn something from GIS. I'm going tell you. <laughs> choo choo. You will learn something from GIS. Oh boy, yeah, that was, the racism is so depressing, man. The other one, them, practically by the time social media get it and, and they all over the place, it's just I say, boy, the other media houses, them, will be more responsible, mm. expected to be. Expected. More responsible. And again, to me can't afford last so people, me can't afford it. So, who <laughs> <laughs> no can't stand it? Me no hit it. So, this thing I know with this man, we chop up. The woman killing Pitney, the one couple of times before that now. Cause I think one go on must say yesterday or today again. Um, didn't get the latest. Because till, till it reached a state now where, where, where the Prime Minister oh said, boy, them want to figure out what go on in the head space of the policeman them. And they want to do, do, do some research. Research now as for, and for find out what go on in terms of why they are. Um, responding this way how many police officers have have domestic dispute and it lead to enos crime now may i say this 11 o'clock ladies and gentlemen the time is brought to us by vj printing services and real talk is sponsored by native audio stage and light and we soon forward Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text and now WhatsApp 518-2399 To advertise your business and events call, text or WhatsApp us on 518-2399 518-2399 don't forget 518-2399 Clifford Guest House Sponsor of Metamorphosis On Monday nights From 9pm to 12 midnight With Dr. Iman Black Located at 15 Queen Street Port Antonio That's Ditchfield Hill They offer accommodations For up to one month Call them at 285-0610 For more information For the best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining, Native Audio. We have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences and small stage shows. Crystal clear sound, Native Audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native Audio. We make your events audible. 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 Extra, extra, read all about it. It's Fan Fusion tickets. Yes, pre sold Fan Fusion tickets are now available at Styles FM Studio, 4 Barmuck Avenue, Port Antonio, White Case Pharmacy, West Street, Brams, Texaco, Port Antonio, Taj Pharmacy, West Street, La Best Sports Bar, Port Antonio. All Styles FM DJs have tickets as well. Morant Bay, Texaco. Also, Universal Electrical and Plumbing Supplies, Wharf Road, Morant Bay, St. Thomas. For more information, call 518 2399. More ticket outlets coming soon. 
native audio stage and lighting. Now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native audio stage and lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to the show, guys. Um, we go to the text line a bit and see what persons have been saying. Um, Heart of Love, article reasoning Daddy Road. Uh, remember, the leaders create garrisons, garrison politics. It is from those times the leaders start give the bad boys weapon. The persons who come say Daddy Road, so and so. It is the same person go say what you didn't say. So true, it is a germ. It's deep. Heart of love to you both, real talk. Up, the topic truly touched that road. I am feeling you. <laughs> you are so tired and fed up of the negative. Please hold it. Change will come. Let's do our part. Indeed. Thank you, Heart of Love. Big ups to you. Thanks for your input. Um, we go to Devoy. That thin line between sanity isn't even a line. Men don't take things lightly. We can hold it for a while, but the frustration that a woman can plant, we men can never try to plant. Just like a woman can't breed another woman, men just can't take things like a woman can. And men do keep trying to press, and women do keep trying to press the men's button just to see how far his frustration level can reach and the men are in my view it's a sign of weakness too yes it's right. oh we are bre oh you are bred to an extent all right. well, but to some extent it's a kind of weakness well, to where point. you are right. low all right stick a point right there sir so where no, you no, are no. low stick a point right there sir you see you see that utterance right there sir joke of money in the heart but it's true just for say boy we're weak to, to right? touch so 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 the so, truth so, be so, told so, that road. So, there are some so, men so, who are not strong thing? enough to cope and find other alternatives to deal with the issues. Just like how they expect us to deal with certain issues. Men You look like a prego, so. No, uh, prego? No man, prego in your, in your mind, man. Um we, <laughs> stop distracting my youth. Your face so you know it's like it again. Stop distracting my youth. You make all look black. I know that men are humans. Don't get me wrong. You know Women are human beings too. Oh, oh, yeah, wait, I'm looking <laughs> it's a new dress. Women are have feelings too. So both sexes have feelings. Let's 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 get that clear, yeah? Because some men say women have no feelings. And they can't do what they want to do. Left, right and center, and no woman mustn't feel no way because and say. They know say I saw them stay. Whatever. Now, what it is that the men have feelings, women have feelings too. And there are certain things that men will tell you, oh, the woman nothing do. And as you say rightly, it's because of how you are cultured and how we socialize growing up. And men are made to think that a woman shouldn't do X, Y, and Z, but he can do it. Right? In the same way, you now you're telling me that um, men can't deal with certain things. Yes, they can't. But guess what? The reality is women can't deal with certain things either, but you men expect us to, right? And you expect us to deal with it properly. Well, in the same way, the women are going to expect that men need to stand strong and firm as men, as you were created, and try to find alternative ways of dealing with issues. Men are saying that have women who can bring them to the brink of insanity, yes. But how do you deal with it? Find help find ways of dealing with it. Killing a woman or killing yourself cannot be the solution. I'm going to show you a thing. It is just you, you, sickening you, you, to think you, you that see, that's the way out for, 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 for the men who are having issues with women. You, you, you see one of the things, you know, where we have to come out of the mindset of I can't live without you or there's no me without you and things like if me can't have you, yeah, no Yeah, and where that come can. from? Socialization? Or we were we bred? Have, we, we have to come out of that. Is because that answer that? We have to remember, we have to remember, say, when you're born, you're born by yourself and there are billions of people out there. So until you end up in a relationship with somebody because of the environment where you and them share. True. 
Right? Just because you know, they're in the same space. It and sometimes people it, are drowning and they draw for a straw. It wrong straw. Wrong straw. And it don't it does not mean say there's a means to an end if you are smart enough. Click no more. One of the things what we have to do as a society is recognize then. Say say for argument sake, what Cleo is saying is true. Recognize that men are weak. Recognize that when that time of weakness come, the man need more people f- behind him for strengthen him and encourage him. And you don't stay right? in the situation that's causing you to be weak. And show the person, say, hey, guess what? There's, there are alternatives. Of course. If you have five women, right, and the woman can't deal no more and she got give away the thing to a one man, just don't say you have four women left. Out of the five because she gone. Gonna make up her next man tally. And so if she probably gonna take up her next man where well maybe she's no longer number one, she probably number seventeen, and that is her choice. And if any woman have picked it together, as all the things set, a your youth them same way. Don't arm the woman, don't arm the youth. And we're just assuming that some of these things are domestic dispute are caused out of of, of what I call it now, unfaithfulness. Mm-hmm. Because I eat how we were bred. Nothing lose, nothing. We win everything. In every game, there must be a winner and there must be a loser. You have those who can draw, but some there's no draw. These are the things where I say I never want to go down a gender road. I don't have statistics with other countries. But from what I say, they are thinking about go on. In America, enough man out there have them woman and them and the woman have problem, right? And it's either them leave or then try to work it out within closed door. That don't mean that you don't have abuse or go on, you know. Abusive relationship, it exists right across the world. But me I say, how we are deal with, deal with, deal with food thing them, yes sir. It's too much. Twitch. Yo, star, so my time when I've made the woman then go on. Exactly. Make them go and make them galang. Exactly. And, and if you want to burn bad lamp in your head, feel a galang man. Good, better, best. But I feel say, you can't, you know, something. But again, too, some of we have a controlling attitude. Exactly. And fail to even admit right? it. And you have to know, say, I know everybody you can control. And you have to know when to, to quit. Quit. While you're ahead. You see it? You have press button. No, but not true. You have press button. Why me can't press the truth? You say you have press button. Why me can't press the button of truth? So now, then you see the press button. The other man say, in can, in, in can deal with it. No, you see? Right? We need to we'll stop have to having these big we'll egos. Men we'll need to, to and cut off them big egos clear. and use good sense and clear. judgment to make them decisions. And at the same time, and at the same time, Sometimes women have to just shut up. True. True. Right? Not disputing that. So, but guess have, what? We, 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 the woman's strength, we, yeah? We, we, the woman's strength is her tongue. How about using the psychology? Some men are smart enough to use the psychology to know how to get around that. Say that part there again. Yes. Our strength is our tongue. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. So why can't men... Leave me alone. Why can't men understand that? Listen. This woman here, me no say... I saw she stay, and I that she go say, or I should have said this, or whatever. You know what? I'm not even gonna stay in the environment to give her that 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 boost to say or to whatever. I'm gonna find another way around her, right? Some men can tell you, the moment they have a, conf- a, a verbal confrontation with a woman, and the moment they respond to her, it's the two of them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, till things probably get out of hand. The moment that man goes quiet, it kills her. And worse, if he just take away himself, it really kills her. If you find, say, you're continually or continuously in a situation where you're not coping, get out of it. Nobody not plant you there. That may I say, listen, the whole argument, argument, two and fro, back and fro, one week, two week, on a good again, three week, one next now argument. Now work for two, man, it's sickening. One next time, this, that, the, the thing now mesh. Listen, billions of people out there. Sometimes you have to just recognize and say, boy, maybe 
if, if you meet the somebody when you are 20 and you are now 30, if you live 20 years without them and a, and a 10 years, like why, seriously, why, why you can't go along? Word, you know? real talk. So me, me, we, we, we have to just balance off the thing. You know? Even if you invest and when you invest, you have to lose. Go on and another the end of the, end of the yeah, road. Yeah, because as you said that, some of these issues obviously result in these anus acts. It's not overnight them, bro. I don't want to have a little argument and you just do whatever uh, to anus the woman. Are anus. Anus. Hmm? Anus crime. Anus. Is it anus or anus? I think I've heard. Anyway, both I, words I used. Can't anus. I did not say anus. I anus, I say. <laughs> anus. Yeah. All right, fine. <laughs> I can't yeah, stand yeah, anus. I pronounce it Papa in a Oh, boy. It, it's not, I don't believe that. Three quarters of these incidents, or if any of them at all, just happened where okay, tonight we have an argument, and this was the ultimate extreme that I went to. I don't think that the man went to, I don't think that's the case. It's over time, over time, because I can tell you, I've been in a situation before where the one thing, the issues kept reoccurring, reoccurring. And over time, it puts you at a place where you're no longer having the same feeling that you had when it started. Where you're upset, but you get over it, and you move on. Yeah. The more it happens, the more it reoccurs, you find yourself reaching to another, a lower level. To, like you're going to at the bottom of something, you can't have no bottom. And you find yourself having these... Worse and worse and worse outer body kind of feelings where it's like you just don't know what else to do. Mm. And I think that is what happens to some of the men where they end up where they end up. Apart from the ego and the boosting and what the friends say and them, them, them shame tree drop a grung and all these things. Despite all of that, they just don't have the know-it-all how to evolve out of that situation where it's repeatedly going on and on. The woman constantly stressing him out. One of the latest one that. Oh my goodness. The woman constantly no, no play it, no. stressing no play it. the woman constantly stressing him out. One incident I heard of lately, when they show you the couple, said that the woman antagonizing him. The woman antagonize him. And him can't take it no more because she come kick off the door. And, and I'm saying, I no. The woman kick off the door. That's what he said. And a poor woman that. Come kick off in door and he couldn't take it no more. And I'm saying, is this the ultimate? Yes, this is the one. Is it the, is that the ultimate? Like this? May I show you this? Huh? Mm -hmm. This is the one I, I got a voice recording. We kick off in door. Yes, yeah, saying that the woman antagonized him, can't take it no more. Like she has stressed him out. Yeah. And I'm saying, I know that there are women who can be, but... What what source of assistance did you try to seek? Who did you get involved? I don't know. Look what the authorities for? What the, what the courts for? What, what, the, what the arrest? Make an arrest? Something? Charge or something? I don't know. Leave the country? Something? I don't know. If find a new girl? Yes. And she's a bill? What? what why? I don't know. I can't get it. Because the average woman, woman... The average woman, many times they go to work for bun, 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 bun from men. Don't, don't get know, me wrong, men go to bun me too. Men don't know about that. But do women that. resort to this? You might find some of them fighting with the woman. Hey, you take over my man and boop, 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 and two, kick and two, thump and whatever, and then move on. Men don't know about and that. And some of them fight the man. And two, two, them and the same man and the pampilla again. Yeah, but women not resorting to this. But we feel hurt too. We experience egos. You know, our egos being crushed too. Mm. But what is it? What is it? Men's egos are bigger? I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it blows me away. Blows me away. I couldn't even take up a gun to, well. You can't kill lizard. I can, can't kill a lizard, but the, the easiest thing could never be to take up a gun to kill, so, to shoot somebody else. Like, no, no matter what it is that I'm going through, I'm mean, not analyze that because I know that I'm taking somebody's life. That can't be so easy for you do. It shouldn't be so easy for you do. No, shouldn't. And somebody leave you. Yeah? The man left you. You're going to what? Try to kill the man because he left you? And you what? You spend some money upon him? And worse, 
The woman leave. You know, things not well, she leaves. And you're going to do what? Try to kill her because she leave? Seriously? Oh, it, come on, man. It go again to, you know, the teasing, the bridge. That's why I said, boy, we have to learn to rally around with one another. You can't tease a man, say, boy, oh, me see a girl down the road with a man in a boy. The man take away your woman, and we can't believe on the whole part room and left and the room and right. We not help the situation, you know? <laughs> Carla. Good night, Carla. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night. Hi, how are you? Not bad. Yes. Sham, what about my girl? Not a thing, not a thing, me there. Oh, oh, oh your sound, sir? Like you in a bed? What? What I mean, I bed, me tired for me there till tomorrow again. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So, a man can't come massage your foot for you? I mean, I have a time for a man, I know, I'm tired. You want more than massage, don't? That's right, and that's that. They talk to me, I am, I don't have time for that right now. That's what I know, too. What's going on? Not that thing, I come home at 8 o'clock, 5 o'clock, I'm on in the car again. Oh, boy. Right. We have to make some time for your up foot, though, here. Eh? Make some time one next day if you rub foot here. Well, I'm not going to come up on uh, Monday. We'll link you on phone that day. Oh, all right. <laughs> 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 so between now and Monday, in can, in can go rub one next foot, right? Hell no. That have been business. When you see him and do him most no. I now walk him down and walk. Look for him. I feel him trouble that. That may know to your charm. Right. Got other more important thing, things to do. Thank you. I don't go one thing me know. Him better know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> me don't know what you are. I want to know. Tell me. Him not here. Don't worry yourself. <laughs> he, he better know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but when all of us come down for him, he better know. Better know for two <laughs> charm. That's, That's right. Because charm no play. Thank you. <laughs> So we know those stumble down upon him, he better know. Mm -hmm. But we're not talking about right now, my auntie, and him and them weekly too. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I'm going to the Jamaican man, them and them, and them everywhere, they want to do this and do that, and they can't take down pressure. Mm -hmm. So when, 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 when my sister came okay, and turned up, all the younger solutions, they see we kill them. Mm -hmm. Kill we. That is the only solution for them weekly too. Yeah. You want to have 13 women, yes, so yes, or yes, so one, yes, so one, yes, so everywhere they go, they have a next one. Mm -hmm. And if they see your phone ring, they want to know who they call you. Mm -hmm. So your phone ring for? What do you mean to your phone ring for? They're not for my phone. You think you have to pay the phone bill, you have to pay your phone bill, that's my phone. <laughs> that's the first thing I have to ask my phone ring, I say, I have to ask for your phone bill. I have to my phone bill come out every month. I have to ask for the PA. And when PIM phone a ring. Oh, my brethren, yes, man. I have to come here to come meet you when I don't know my brethren. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know about that charm. You no, know, I don't know style that. <laughs> yeah, man. I have come. Which part you say are there? I have come, man. I have come. Go on this one. I'm brethren. Mm -hmm. No, I'm brethren. And that's what they want to be here and have, do what they want to do and then in the long run, no. They want to kill people. True. They're True weak. Child. They don't know weak. Men is very weak. And the only solution is to then take up the norm now is every minute then they kill, they kill women, kill women. That's so crazy. Totally crazy. Totally. What do you mean you know crazy? It's totally crazy. I'm agreeing with you. Oh, yes, they're crazy. Them, them, listen, just like when we can't walk and we are left, them, they need to walk too. But, but Charm, let me ask you something. You, mm -hmm. you, you know, if you say the foreign man, them easier for you to get the bun and take the bun and, and try to work it out than, than the Jamaican man, them out here. Well, that is true because they're making you man, them more. What do you mean by that? They're making you Adam, 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 woman more, for true, that's true. The men, yeah, oh, the, the, men them here, the point is, the men, with the men them here, one of you are them with me, 
but not for them know the, the penalty. They might get death penalty and then something. All there. right. But you know, Jamaica know they just the got death, they just got prison go serve some time and come back. So yes. they're not here. If any at all. I understand. Exactly. Yes. If they reach prison at all, for true. Right. But here, they know, so then we get death penalty and then something there. So then, then we do it, but it's not for prevalent like yes. when they happen back home. Yes. Yes. And I think they should reinstate hanging in Jamaica. I've been but me think, for a long time. I think they need to put in some real strong injunctions in Jamaica. Go back to hanging. I think and so too. They went start, better if they went start, go back to the girl and see that they don't cut down for what they do. Mm-hmm. Even the crime, even the crime in Jamaica, no man, it's terrible bad man. The man a star movie. And then sitting there down there. They want to watch a movie and a star them. A true. And when they go to prison, when they go to prison, charm, they live like... Better than when they were outside, yes, some of them. Yes, because they don't have to pay their money. Yes. That's why they don't have to pay their money. And get big, this and big that. They create them, them, them family, them family, them pay a big liar. And, 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 and they appeal case and then just walk free again. And go back and do the same thing again. Yep. So, so they need, they need, they put them at the girls, they need to start. I mean, uh, listen to me. Listen to me, man. People say the Bible can't be dictated, you know, but the Bible say a knife and I am not too fair to it. Do one to others that you have them do one to That's you. That's right. Then if it are thing, them and, again. And then when they do their crimes, you don't hear the justice people them coming out and licking us against but what they, they did. They might tell you to be an untreat, but they might go, oh, me can't go, I mean, I got a prison, me got a prison for you. Then only I got a prison for you. Mm-hmm. All right. Look on this guy who killed this little girl in New Jersey. I watch it today on the news up here. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they, they live in the same complex. And him, he look like him, rip the little girl and kill him. Mm-hmm. And he's only 16 year old. In a, a 75 year, he get a prison. How many years? 75 years. Wow. <laughs> you understand? Mm-hmm. 75 years, he get that a prison. He's only 91, he's a touch road. And he's only 16 years old. Mm-mm. 16 or 15. Can you imagine? 16 years old. So, 16 years old, yes. I'm a 90. And he gets 75 years of, of prison. Oh. As a man can now then give him 10 years and he come out back. If he reaches prison, prison do 10 at years, all. He, do, he, he only do 8 years and come out back. Yeah. If so many. Come on. And, exactly. and, and as I said, you find these justice people coming out when... When um, something is, when they are to pay the penalty for their crimes or something, you hear all right. kind of talk you mean defending when, them. You mean when police clap, boy? Yeah, exactly. when, when exactly. they get some, yeah, you find people defending them at that time. And everybody, oh, human rights this and human rights that. Whatever happened exactly. to the human rights of the persons who got killed, the children who got um, raped and killed by these criminals, that's, these that's wanton the police, murderers. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. So in Nago stop. In Nago stop. It's gonna only get worse. And it, it, exactly. And, and the problem, the next problem we me have, when me say me I go right then here, the the the, the head that people them here. Yeah. Until America farm a gun legislation, the whole world now go stop so far. Yep. Because yeah, I go them a come from a go everywhere. Mm. So until them farm a gun legislation, the whole world now go stop so far. Oh. Wow. So then go and do something about it. Until they farm it. If they don't farm a gun legislation, the whole world will not go stop suffer. I hear they go every country where it come from. Nowhere in Jamaica you can't go, go walk in and go buy a gun like that. Mm. You cannot. You cannot. You hmm. have to have a proper, proper gun license. Yeah, and look how much gun there in Jamaica in Iran. Mm-hmm. So they, they got no, to do that. something about it. And if you're not farm here, so you're not going to stop. The whole world is going to continue to suffer. Real talk. Because if they go there, so if they go there, so if they go there, so until they reach that the country, reach that the country. And reach, the, reach it the wrong way. Yeah. So, here, have you, have you, have you make, do something about that? And in Jamaica, they have to go farm hanging again. Yep. Because under them, not do that. It, 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 it just go get worse every day. Jam. Every day. Jam. If you check out the logic of how much woman did last year, since this year start, check out how much dead already. 
Mm. Yeah, we can check it out. But Charm. Yeah. You, you, you want you, you plan for come back come back here can live? Yes. I went that yes. charm. Well, no right now, but I think what the next <laughs> next fifteen years. Alright. I hope in a 15 year time the thing get better, yeah, sir. Yes, definitely. Yeah? No. Let's hope in the next 15 years it gets much better, way better. Why? Me not, me not see it. Man, I sleep, me said, the only hope is going to be better. Until they make up their mind, so they might go pop their neck. That's all I'm going to go. <laughs> Simply put. <laughs> Okay. That's the only how we go be better, baby. <laughs> because them and boy are with their ears up, them and they are there. They don't have no heart. They are they don't have no name. Heart. Real they talk. Have they must home. smoke something or in here. Something. Heartless. True. True. You understand? So they... until then, decide to pop their neck. I'm going to say they go be better. <laughs> Real talk. Thank you, Charmy. No. All right, honey. All right, darling. Charm now put up the thing, a real talk. Until then, this time, yes, pop yes, them yes, neck. Yes. Pop them yes. neck legally. Because no, right. hanging has been reinstated. All right, Charm. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Okay, honey. Okay, baby girl. We, wait, we go back to the text line quickly. Um, Taz um, Lionel says, hang them and use the military to run the country. Hmm. Vivian in Atlanta Good evening to you too, Vivian. Good to see you on board. Um, but a week on a week for true, 561 says. Um, who else? Karen in Monique, St. Anne. But my neighbor, but my neighbor bad mind me and then them could do the same thing. Okay, let's see the first one to that. I think she was saying something about um, she had some pig, not the one before. <clears throat> Down below. Yeah, Karen, yes, Karen. Um, says, I raise pig and chicken in my backyard. I keep it clean and every morning I wash them. But my neighbor bad mind me. And them could do the same thing. Um, okay. Hmm. Yeah, some persons, um, as I say, you have a business, uh, Aaron. You, you start a local business right in the neighborhood. And two steps away, they're doing the same, the very same business that you started. I don't know if I like that. I don't know. I don't know. That's how we do it a yard, man. Yeah. It's now 11.30. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio, Stage, and Lighting. Stick and stay with some come. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Business operators, local and overseas, this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Stars FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Stars FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. <laughs> Your Saturdays will never be the same again. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Styles FM. Get the showdown. Social commentary. Two, no, one, two. No, no, no ice cream sound. Good morning, Steve. 
rent seeking employment or have a job vacancy are you selling a car or having a garage sale then come see us let styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time contact us at 8762869216 or 4395160 advertising style advertise with style Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk, guys. And we um, can we go through any more messages to see what people are saying? All right. Oh, man. Our show tonight predominantly with the issues affecting and plaguing our society. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we, um, we have an next one where we are plagued with society in a way you're not going to like. Oh, God. If, if you're not going to like it, they'll give me a headache and heartache and how can I ache? This one now is about the old new exam format well, that we've been talking about <laughs> pep right oy, oy. so today was the grade four our mm -hmm. achievement that's what name what name you know i don't even know that one name to be honest some grade, the grade four, four pep something right where my daughter do it yesterday and she do it today mm -hmm. and that was one of the sad things literacy too. and numeracy yeah with, with, with the teacher, we're supposed to be one of the invigilators oh, and fear situation. Uh, yeah. uh, our Saint Elizabeth. I think mm. so, yeah. Now, may I run through some practice questions, ladies and gentlemen, regarding this pep business? Because we know so the pep something, they, they, they are saying that, say, boy, they want kids who can reason now things and can look on things. Critical thinkers. Critical yeah. thinkers. I don't know what, what is the motive of that. There's probably some farm of... Um, Trust why the government to kind of change the nation towards a certain level of IQ when I try to develop. Yeah, they said they want to, to, to develop right. 21st century learners. No. That's the aim. You know, that's, that's, that's rubbish, right? I'm telling you what they say. Yeah, but... Uh, they want our children to be able to think critically. And when they reach the high school and the tertiary levels, they are able to think and so, act so, critically so, so and make it, you mean the, decisions. The, the, they would be able already. They should be able. Because I'm certain, I'm <clears> certain <throat> that when me reach a certain level in a high school, me can critically think about certain things because my brain develop developed naturally on its own to be like that. But with, with these prompts now, these are like prompters. They are not prompts. I'm just telling what I think. So these, I guess they are saying, these would be like prompt, these practice questions and these ideas, these kinds of questions. They now prompt the child to think more, to think deeper from an early age. My daughter is a woman or a girl of confidence. Mm -hmm. And for the first time, she woke up with lack of confidence. Wow. For the first time. Hmm. Now, you have an exam of math, ladies and germs, an example, right? That is eight pages. How can a child, eight years old, nine years old, to answer a question, right, that involves eight pages of information, not even when me ado me MBA. <laughs> The entire case study was not eight pages. And those exams, you get like 
two weeks. No, it would have been a week to do those exams. <laughs> and them are never eight page. No, them are pit near. I get eight pages sitting for do. You know how long? Um, about two hours. Two tops. hours. Part right. one is an hour and part two is the other hour. No, hours, one so? question where them have <laughs> is all about how oh, to make up one goat farm, one, one, one farm. So you must imagine, mm -hmm. one picnic, if you imagine themselves, so they're a farmer. <laughs> now, Pitney, we just come out of Baba Black Sheep. We just come out of um, you any wool? Farmer um, at a farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Old MacDonald at a farm. Right. Yeah, yeah, oh. And that's all they'll know about farming. The class and the schoolwork and the course mechanism was never about farming. But in an exam, you're going to imagine. That you're pretend that you're a farmer and you're supposed to make a goat pen and a fowl pen, fowl cob and whatever it is. And they give you the dimensions. And they no. And they tell you what the area should be, for example, is it? Farmers earn money by raising animals and growing vegetables. I'm wanting to listen. But listen the children right? know that part, no? For, for this task, you will pretend to be a farmer. Well, mm -hmm. that you're a farmer. And your task is to design a farm that will earn you the most amount of money. Mm -hmm. So an eight-year-old kid, nine-year-old kid, supposed to pretend to be a farmer. Yeah. And they're going to design mm -hmm. a farm that will, make them earn, the that most will money. earn them the most amount of money at eight years old and nine years old. So despite the land space you have. Right. And all these things, design a farm and make them earn the most money. To show your work, you will need to draw mm -hmm. a map to show where you put the animals, plants, and fences. Oh. You will also need to show your calculations <laughs> that will tell the reader, mm -hmm. which would be the person marking the exam, mm -hmm. how much money you are earning. Here... Are your guidelines. No mm -hmm. people, I'm just reading, they haven't done page one yet, you know. <laughs> you have 20 units of fence to put around your animals and plants. You, mm. you can have as many plants and animals as you want, but oh, need to have at least mm. one plant and one animal. You hear what things them have to have to think about as many as right? possible animals so, and plants. So, so you have to think about no how much fence you have one. and how much animal are as many of either. But you must have to have at least one of and either. And you have to also think about the fact that you want to make it make the most money. And plus which one oh you gotta design if you earn the most, most amount of yeah. money. Right? Each type of animal must have its own separate space Jesus. with a fence that goes around the perimeter animals are in the same oh animals that are the same can share the same space for example cows can stay with cows and pigs stay with pigs right? but cows can't stay with pigs there needs to be these are all things that kids they must consider before they even start to answer the question, question. Uh -huh. there needs to be at least one square unit of space between vegetables and animals. So right away, you must don't say, put your map where you draw. There they must be a grid paper. A space. Yeah, a grid. There must be a, a space between them. So if you have a child thinking about that, that, that has never used <laughs> scale paper or grid paper in exam, going to have to be thinking about these things. Your map. Right? No, you know, you got to design a farm and know them tell about map. So, before me done this, people, I got to show you the amount of errors in a this, sitting here, where they might give picnic for do. Error! <coughs> but in a it, where they might give picnic for do, for exam. So, right away, even the people who are right the paper, I give the picnic them wrong sitting from money. So, how they all get it right? Anyway, may I continue? Yes, I may. <laughs> <laughs> now, your map. So on your map, you must show the measurement of your farm and the area and perimeter of each animal pen and vegetable patch. 
you must write down your calculations that show how much money your farm will earn on the farm calculation worksheet. So they also give you a farm calculation worksheet. Mm. Now, them give you one design your farm um, planning sheet. So the direction you directions use this sheet to design your farm. Be sure to label all of the parts, including the animal pen and vegetable patches, and then give you that on page number four of eight. Oh, Jesus. Now, watch this now, ladies and gentlemen. There's also another piece. So this is before you even start, you know. Then I'm going to tell you this to consider. Chickens. Every 10 chicken need five square meter of land. <laughs> right? <laughs> you make ten dollars each month for every chicken i'm gonna show you one error oh up top then talk about units down here so then talk about square meter they never say square unit mm -hmm. error so right away you confuse a nine-year-old or eight-year-old picnic because them program up top per unit square units you give them a you give them a grid sheet yeah. And then now you're talking about square meter and earnings off a square meter. And also you're talking about um, earnings every month. Chickens don't, chicken not growing, growing a month, a six week. <laughs> right? And then the picture with them have here, so too. A layer fall. <laughs> if you know farm, the brown fall, them a layer fall. <laughs> and the white fall, they have this. You want to see it? A layer fall that. <laughs> Seeing? <laughs> no, for, for grade four. <laughs> Leah. <laughs> so then I talk about egg. So if your pitney really know about farm, too, if you have a lucky pitney now, <laughs> where he, he know about farm, you mash up your meds just so right away. Oh my God. Anyway, <laughs> them say now, each cow need eight square meter of land. Right? You will make $50 each month of, for every cow. So up at that, they say every 10 fowl, <laughs> right, need five square meters. So right away, you have a fraction of the pitney work out, you know. Because if every 10 fowl are five <laughs> square meter, right, that means they are two fowl per square meter, you know, Cass. And you have to know that. Me can't tell you, say, no teacher, no know this right here now. <laughs> Because one of the mistakes when they were making a case today, them right away say from long time, them have shortage of math teachers yes, in the yes, island. Yes. But yet still, no for the teacher them, and no math teacher them, and you give them something well complicated like this. You have to go teach to Pitney and explain to Pitney. Come on, man. Let me continue. <laughs> the sheep, each sheep need two square meter, and you and you will make $20 off of each month for every sheep. Goat. Each goat need one square meter. And you will need, you will make $7 off of each goat. I mean, I don't know people. This is a number five now, page five. They're not start uh -huh. the question. So remember, now, they are going to design a farm to make the most money. So even for the people start designing the farm, even if you know, I think about, okay, how much money per square meter me can make half of each, you know, how much money, the maximum amount of money me can make off of the farm. But at the same time, I have 20 units mm -hmm. of fence. In other words, they could ask a boy, you have, you, 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 you have 20 foot or 20 whatever, a barbed wire. Barbed wire, and that's what you use Jamaica. We don't use a picket fence. Well, anyway, <laughs> peas, you will make $8 for every square meter a peas planted. Oh, tomato, Jesus. you will make $10 at every square meter a tomato planted. Lettuce, you make $4 at every square meter a lettuce were planted. And corn, you make $30 at every square meter. Right away, you will say, I can't make you the most money. So you know what, I don't plant no lettuce, I don't plant no tomato, I don't plant no peas. I just can't alone me plant. But at the same time, you're supposed to have 200 units. 220. 200 units of fence. Okay. 
Oh, and them about open land, you will make, you know, you, you will lose money. Them say, you can have land that, that is open. That means there are no plants, no animals on it. Open lands <laughs> will cost you money because you will have to water it and take oh, care of it. So you will make minus $5 for every square meter. So everything else where the certain concern is per month or per whatever, no, you are going to only make, you are going to lose money for your farm, kind of water and blah, 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 blah. So now they have one calculation sheet, so on and so forth. So mm-hmm. now you can go draw. So my issue is Cassidy. It not so you say, all right, you know, draw your farm, design a pig farm with pigs and this and goat in it. And then now, when you do A, now that you have designed your pig farm, mm-hmm. Based off of the area where you get, calculate the area or perimeter of land where you design around your farm mm-hmm. and you label it. So if you did draw five square meter, <coughs> you will know say boy how much cow and goat can hold it. So, so now you're gonna do the calculations. But they must say if you work out the maximum with a certain amount of fence around it. Now here what happened now with, with, with this thing now. Then give you one example of a farm in a Cassidy. <laughs> where the fence touch. Because them say only animal fence have to separate it. Animal have to separate it from the, Plant? from the plants. Me, in my opinion, then I want the goat can reach you and near me to me. Right? And that, and that get me gather from. So I have to create one space, at a minimum space between them. But yet still, them have... Let me tell you one word, they join on together people. But I'll feed them example. Them join on the corn fence, on the tomato fence. Now, to become enough, me calculate every perimeter of fencing where on each one of the animal farm and, 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 and vegetable plant, f- plant, and, and, and plant pen, you know, or whatever they want to call it. Mm-hmm. Patch. I mm-hmm. <laughs> calculate it. And I get 200. And here I get the 200 now. The corn and the tomato share 10 unit at one part mm-hmm. and then go add the two of them together that means that uh, the part of the can at 10 the part that we touch for the, for the tomato at 10 which will give you 20 mm-hmm. right and it can't walk you know run a double fence a mm-hmm. one, fence. one fence so really 180 then get so even the example when they give panic a wrong bang x out can't write <laughs> Once it's joined, it cannot be separated. It can't, it yeah. can't be, you can't do it. You, you, you can't say a two different fence. So, right away, they told the them, not idiot. The example they didn't give them wrong. I have, an, I have a headache from that blinking question. How long is the exam? <laughs> because it took you almost 15 minutes to read through it. To read through it, and the pit them sit down in an exam for deal with this matter. There, I can tell you one thing. The, 99.9% of the children's brain messed up from quarter way through reading that. Exactly. That much I can tell you. Right. So, you have got also, I'm say no, work out the perimeter, the area, and the amount of money where you got to earn. Plus, you have got to draw, you have got to draw the farm, and, you have, and then give you certain restrictions in designing the farm mm-hmm. because then give you the amount of fence we are supposed to use. Mm. And then worse than give you one example. We're wrong. No more of them explain to me. And, and people tell me, say, if this is not beyond the capacity of the brain, of the normal brain, since what you call it, the, um, the, the, Hello? The, the normal brain development of one's eight year old and one nine year old. They might tell me say they want the, the, the capacity of the pit them the, the, the way how they think for different. They might pit them done smarter than we for a long time because I keep Captain Caveman me also watch. <laughs> Dan Dan? Yeah. Yes, sir. By the way, what that do you say? Like grade four testers? Yes. You sure you sure I don't want to test the case? No, no, that mess up, brother. <laughs> Bossy, no, man, any, alive, anybody who wants me can WhatsApp it to Uno right now. Right now, me can WhatsApp it to Uno. If you don't want it, me WhatsApp it to Uno's. But no, 
Send me a WhatsApp four three nine five one six zero if you don't want it. Four three nine five one six zero. I'm a WhatsApp it to Uno. What was that, Dan Dan? Well, then. It, this test is a pass and field test. Um. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Um. Based so, on your grades, so if, you so get if, you don't, if you don't pass it, why you don't advance to the next grade? Um, I, I don't don't know what their passing thing is, but um, based Dan, on Dan. the results, they place you. <coughs> there are a lot yeah, of this parents. This is the grade four one. Yes, placement to grade five. There, there are a lot Promotion of parents to grade five. that are depressed. Oh, uh, so, so, so if you pass it, you go grade five. That's what I'm understanding. Providing you don't, then you I, I'm not sure what measures they put in place for. No nah, man, you suppose you suppose you suppose you suppose go go, go college if you pass a test. Eh? Oh, that too. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Dan, there yeah. are a lot of parents right now that are very concerned because a little mock exam will go on before that pep up me. Them pitney them I get all 20 odd are in the teens in a maths. All my parents okay. out there really and truly not have the math capacity to teach them pitney. No so parents the out there not have it. That's the reality of what I go on. My pitney right now the LCM, Lewis Command Multiple, LCM, Multiplication and, and Division of Fractions in a grade four right now. Whenever I do them sitting in a command entrance in a full time, I went an idiot. My uncle dark and miserable. <laughs> but I go on like me an idiot. What so, I don't understand what, 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 Dan Dan. Dan Dan, a command entrance in the door, GSAT. Dan, Dan, do the common enjoys. Please. <laughs> no, no. What, but seriously, what, what, is, what is the real aim of this? What, what is this test? Dan, Dan, to I'm wondering if they might develop if they're going to make a um, nuclear bomb. <laughs> because, because I can't see no other rationale. As no, somebody said, we have been known for Cassidy. years now, Dan Dan said, Jamaican pitney them educational, education wise are, in ad, are advanced than many others in first world country. We know that for a long time. So I try to figure out what I go on now. I said, we don't have to evolve, you know. Um, let me well, tell you what the this, view this is. is the it looks it look like, say, one of the might expand um, the capacity to build you as well you know, the next generation. You know, I think so too. Continue. Well, Dan Dan, this is what uh, Ron in Calgary, this is what Ron says um, in Calgary, Alberta. Um, uh, where is it? Rude them are trying to keep up with international standards. Similar thing is happening with the kids here in Canada. All right, so... Rude no read no more. <laughs> yeah, you said rude no read no more. I'm confused already. All right. A bad mind them people... Them people, you're bad man, because kids now grow up in the information, information age. Information age. Reed, Reed get fired for his misconduct. Is it this insanity? Part of the misconduct caused this need <laughs> to be scrapped? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> but I tell you something, Dan Dan. We're in our system now where nobody no one accepts that something fail. You see what they with the nibs, with, with, with the oh, nibs yeah. thing? If that never got yeah. a quote, you know, a yeah. mash up, you know. It would, it would be pushed. Nobody, they, nobody would have accepted that, that, that there was a blonde in a brother. And this is a right. similar thing. It's a major, major, major blunder right now. Because guess what? If it was a situation where you said, boy, you said, grade one kids, this is, this is the thrust start of the world. Develop, yeah. And you start to develop the pit in them. Yeah, right? basic question, similar be, types, be, right? right? Over time, yeah, that's the what brain is going to develop. That's what but I think. what them do now, they don't come up, boom, it has to start now. Just like the garbage bag business, I mean, I'll stop talking about that because right now, me need garbage bag when I travel upon the road because anything can take me on the road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but what are they? The garbage bag thing there, the road, is me. If me, if me, if me, if me come to make and I'm going to put some things in a, in a scandal bag, where am I? The more, the more, the you're white, illegal, white, you're blocking the law, Dan, Dan, because me you know so when people they are foreign, the same GSC penny bar, because you, you really have some, you, you really have some um, Publix bag in a John Dan, but talk the truth, and you, but yes. you know want to put the yes. shoes in the Publix bag, you put it in one long time GSC penny bag where you have, talk the truth. <laughs> 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 and you're right, it's funny name, Penny. Zane, <clears throat> we do that naturally. So now, right now, everything, everything I've got mixed up. 
<laughs> but but my taking a Dan Dan is yes, I understand that you've passed a law that you have banned plastic or you're trying to, you know, um help in maintaining or preserving the environment, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But it's just funny for me how that just became an issue where loops persons were caught with the bag. Yeah, man. Bloops. Penalty. Prosecution. Yeah, prosecution. And there are so many things happening around us where people need to be prosecuted, where people need to be used as an example because they are in breach of certain things that they shouldn't be in breach of and nothing comes of it. Nothing. Big mm. uh, heads of authorities, the lower middle class man, the lower class, everybody at, from time to time, there are persons who breach certain laws and rules of the country and nothing comes of it. You hear Dan, the story Dan. and then it just go under the quiet, just under the carpet and just gets lost. Dan, Dan. But this situation just... Yeah. The plastic bag, you see? The plastic bag, my, my wife said something to me since there. She said she remember when we would normally have the scandal bag them and throw the garbage in the scandal bag and then put that scandal bag there in the garbage bag. Uh-huh. Yes. She said when she driving now, the whole out of the front of the yard think. Mm-hmm. Because before, you never mm-hmm. smell it. Because whatever right. thing, it don't tie up in a one, in a one scandal bag already. Mm-hmm. But you implement a system, Zin, that still not stop people from throwing the garbage, the raw garbage now in the gully same way. Because if you don't improve for your collection, your garbage collection, your solid waste management practices, the exactly. garbage still, the waste still exists. You don't get rid of yeah, waste. Exactly. And if you don't implement so, the recycling, me, reusing me, policies, me, me, me agree, like I agree with the authorities. You want, you want, to, you want to reduce the, the production of, of plastic. You, know? you see, all right, there, there are the in Europe. You see, what I'm doing in Europe, they, they, make you, they make you buy your bag. You know? So... so so you see so the, so the, the scanner bag that you have, if you don't know, you know, uh, pay for the bag, you make sure you, 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 you carry it, you carry it to the supermarket or the food store. Yeah. Or keep it, or buy, 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 and you have too much, too much you don't use for. Right, but, 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 but nothing wrong with that, you know, Dan. If you have to buy the bag and then I put that money there towards the management of the yes. solid waste, then it's understandable. Yes, yes. So that, that, that what I said, that's what the government do in Europe. They're not telling us no, 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 but they might make it more difficult for you if you keep, you know, if, if, if right, if, if, you, if, you, if you, you have to pay for what you're contributing towards. Yes, may I agree with them with that. They would not, nobody would have mind if you buy one scandal bag for five dollars. Because you have some supermarket from a long time, they might charge your feet. Yep, but the money now go mm. back into the system because the system never put in place for that. Yep. What them do? Mm. Them increase now, say, a $20 for a bottle, a beer, um, um, soda bottle or whatever, um, bottle for, for red stripe and them something, them increase the money there. Nothing wrong with okay. that. Because right now, if you watch all out now, fan future, if, if you not take my bottle, I'm watching you, you know. <laughs> if you not take my bottle, I'm $20, you know, we have a problem, you know. <laughs> Uno left my bottle last year, Uno take where my big old styles umbrella. So I've got to pay for Style Z about this year, sorry. But <laughs> Dan Dan, big up here, sir. After twelve years. Yeah man, cool. All right, Dan's. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, on no on know the show thing go. At twelve o'clock, but we have to talk about fan fusion. We have one month people. We're in a June now. <clears throat> right? Cause today now a June one. Right oh, now. Yes, it is. So the thirteenth of July, next month, fan fusion. We have the pre sold ticket them, we only need to get them. Me know say my one them are doing oh fear one say Cassidy. Your one them are go are doing dung Cassidy? My one them are doing dung people. Right? Dwingle, 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 dwingle. It's a limited amount of pre sold ticket printed. The VIP them did they say me VIP is a very good place to be. Me only have sixty or had sixty VIP ticket alone printed. Because we don't want the place for crowd, because VIP must feel like VIP. Right? VIP, you get your mixed drink. You get your soap. And you get your catered food. So, the, everything up at VIP, I have to pay for up front. So, I want to understand how the thing go. I have to pay for up front, because I have to pay Shelly for the mixed drink up front. I have to pay the restaurant 
um, for, for, the, for, for, the, for the soap and the catered food have to pay for even before you know start eating. Plus, you know, have your know, own bar up a VIP. Plus, you know, have servers a VIP. So, if you know, want one mixed drink and you know, feel like you're looking at Shelly face, you know, can send one of the server them. And those servers are going to be professional people. Plus, if you don't know, feel like go at the restaurant, you know, have the server then we can go at the restaurant, go get you no know, food, food you know, separate from the finger food. Right? Nice atmosphere. You have the style Zebo now, where them people eh, are going to get two all access armband, which means that they can go a VIP, but they don't get the prettiness like Uno. But what they get when Uno get, they get a large bottle of Moscato plus two all access armband for six thousand dollar, right? They might have their own table and their own umbrella with them and then crew can under and buy them this and buy them that and drink up them thing the whole night and eat them food the whole night in a for them only little setting, right? It can be two somebody alone today or a bridge in our season and our crew. So all of that in the whole package plus the entertainment we are going and the mingle and them something the member we start at seven o'clock sharp. And on a late party phone or turn up, I wanna like, say, oh, but how come I hear my best song? How come I hear DJ Prestige? How come I hear DJ Not Road? Right? <laughs> Seven o'clock. It's a tradition at the party. So those who never been there before and intend to come at the party late, like what maybe most people used to, is not a kind of party. The party I gonna go on at one o'clock, yes, but you're late, you're late, you're late, you're late. You're late. Everybody done frowns here already. Right? So, as always, it's an A class <coughs> event at a very, very, very affordable price. 700 pre sold. The type of party <coughs> where I do, they might ticket you normally $2,000, $2,500. A 700 pre sold for the regular. Right? 1000 at the gate. We are going to have more parking this year. Done before. We can't tell you that's all what talk about parking. We have more, we have two parking lot this year. Secure parking. We have the style Zebo for 6,000 and the VIP for 35. <coughs> Check up any other party out there and see if them the price are on a party nowadays. One of my promoter brothers said, boy, I joked him because we sell Moscato after we party them for $5,000 for one bottle of Moscato. So, do the maths, people. When I get the Moscato, when I get the table, when I get the umbrella, when I get the mask, not to mention the mask, people, <laughs> VIP and size, I get mask. And when I get two all access passes, means that I can't go anywhere from the location. For six grand. What can beat that? So, you know, do the mass phone yourself and see what work out for you know, and which one more economical. I mean, can't tell you, no, say. Boom. <coughs> VIP. <coughs> style Zebo. Only eight style Zebo. I mean, can't tell you, no. I mean, I have eight left. So, do you know, do. Big up on yourself. Lady clear. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the show. And as you know, usually we close out by 12. It's now 12.07. So on behalf of our engineer, Cassidy, and my co-host, Daddy Rude, Lady Cleo is saying peace out until next week, God's willing, where we do it all over again for you and you and for you thank you all for listening in thank you for sharing all the texters all the first time texters and callers thank you all so very much